So whatever we covered across yesterday, I would request each one of you to do type in across the topics, guys, which you remember. So let's do a recap. I hope you guys are able to hear me loud and clear and also you can see my screen. Please do acknowledge in the chat window also so that I can get to know. All right, thanks Chaitanya for acknowledging. Perfect, so Chaitanya and Goresh, we would get started by doing a small uh, recap. All right, let's talk about the topics which, let's talk about the topics which we covered across yesterday. All right, Goresh says we covered across Google AdSense, absolutely correct. We understood what Google AdSense is and we saw the panel as well. What else? All right, it was AdWords, that is absolutely correct. We had discussed quite a lot of stuff about AdWords. What all things did we cover across in AdWords? Uh, right, AdWords and campaigns, absolutely correct. We understood the overall, uh, we understood the overall hierarchy, right? AdWords, campaigns, AdWords, uh, campaigns, the ad groups and the ads, that is correct. Correct says we understood the display network, that is correct. PPC, PPC which stands for pay per click and that's a paying mechanism. Absolutely. What else? The auction based system, that is correct. So in the AdWords, there is an auction based system where every particular advertiser gets into the bidding mode. Everybody enters across a bid which which is the maximum amount which they are willing to pay, right? And also we understood CDR, that's a great recap, absolutely correct. And what does CDR stand for and how is it being calculated? Do you guys want to recap that? Absolutely correct, Goresh. The CDR is being calculated as the total number of clicks divided by the total number of impressions multiplied by 100. Absolutely correct. What else, guys? What else do you remember about, uh, what, what other topics? Is there anything else which you remember about the previous session, the yesterday's session? Any queries, any doubts, guys? And, uh, Chitanya says, right, the, the maximum bid multiplied by the extensions will the cost. Right, so that was an overall uh, calculation of the ad rank and the ad rank calculation is bid multiplied by the quality score and the quality score is further divided into quality score of the keyword and also of the ad extension and 80% weightage is given across to the keyword quality score and 20% weightage is given across to the quality score of the ad extension. Right, and uh, what it says we understood about the banner ads, the ad rank, the ad quality, absolutely correct. And there are three things on which the quality score is calculated across. Do you guys remember that? What is quality score based upon? You can take your time and uh, maybe refer your notes or something and let me know what do you remember about the quality score? How is that being calculated across? Absolutely right. It is the relevance. And uh, so the quality score is basically de uh, dependent upon three things. Relevance is definitely part of it. Keyword, the relevance of the keyword with the landing page and also the ad quality. But if we talk 
in you know the exact things if we talk to the point that what all things really affect the quality score then there are three things which we discussed and here's a slide for that it is the expected click through rate all right it's a click through rate the ad relevance and the landing page relevance these are the three decisive factors for the quality score right hope that recalls guys and i also told you that higher the bid doesn't really give us let me just go ahead and put it across in the presenter mode all right yesterday we understood putting across a higher bid we understood uh, uh, you know that there is always an assumption which people feel that if you are bidding in higher then you might get across the topmost position which is absolutely not correct despite of bidding a lower amount you can be on the top it's just that you need to have a good quality score all right and we understood this process because uh, there is this ad rank formula ad rank means this you know this is ad rank 1 this is ad rank 2 this is ad rank 3 first second third fourth and fifth and every advertiser is trying to put themselves onto the top now in order to be on the top in order to get across your advertisement to be on the top of the keyword which you have chosen you have to put across focus on two things one is the bid for sure and the other is the quality score now one great thing uh, through which you can go ahead and differentiate yourself as a digital marketer from other digital marketers is the way you go ahead and provide return on investment to the organization for which you are running ads and that great return on investment comes in when you are putting a lot of focus on the quality score part guys this one if you have improved the quality score and uh, you know the the increase in quality score will lead to better ad rank at a lower bid so you know you are making your client spend less and still you are making them achieve higher ad rank right this is one of the ways through which you can really separate yourself from the other competitors right screen share is not clear uh, one second give me a second why is this not the screen is blur not clear why is that so give me a second All right, I'll just try now, and let me know if this works now. Give me a second. All right, it's okay now. Perfect. Okay, so that was some trouble with the uh, the software which I'm using. all right now as you can see what we studied yesterday that uh, the formula for ad rank the formula for ad rank is that we multiply the bid which we are doing for a particular keyword with the quality score of the keyword and the ad extension for that particular keyword now the overall percentage weightage which is given across to the quality score for the keyword is 80% and for the percentage of uh, you know weightage which is given to the ad extension score is 20% so 20% weightage to ad extension and 80% uh, weightage to the quality score uh, right with this we are able to get across the ad rank score and the ad rank score the, the particular uh, competitor a particular advertiser whose ad rank is higher will rank on the top right that's what we understood and i was saying that if you are able to get across a higher quality score than your competitors you can uh you know you can separate yourself you can really differentiate yourself from your other digital marketers who would might not be able to you know get across high quality score this is something which every client wants what does a client who would like to hire you as a digital marketer what what would he be really looking for he would be looking for a digital marketer who can help him get across better profit better return on investment and better return on investment a good higher return on investment comes in when you have higher quality score and still you are able to rank your advertisement on the top because better quality score and a lower bid can get you higher ad rank and that's what you really want your client would be spending in less and still getting on to the top and getting across better uh, you know clicks and clicks leading to profits clicks leading to sales and ultimately profit and so forth 
right? Quality score is also another thing which we studied across yesterday. That quality score, other, uh, which is part of the ad rank, is dependent upon three things. The click-through rate, ad relevance, and landing page relevance. This is what we studied. And let me see what other things I was I had talked about. We understood also that, now this is something which we understood earlier, the hierarchy, we always have account on the top, then campaign, and then the level three consists of the ad groups, and level four consists of ads and keywords together. Now today I'll start with, right from the uh, practical point of view, it's important for me to go ahead and take the practical part and then continue with the theoretical so that these uh, theoretical knowledge which you have got so far that gets into your uh, brain and gets absorbed much more, you know, much in a much more better way. All right. So we understood level one, level two, level three is the ad groups and level four is the ads and keywords together. We understood this earlier and targeting options and so forth that was covered way too before last weekend. All right. So before I move further, all right, these were the things which we understood yesterday. Device targeting, time to target, targeting, contextual, and so forth. What we are going to do now, guys, we will be starting across, we will start with adwords.google.com. That's what you have to log into. Now, uh, okay, not this one. I'll use another browser. All right. Uh, well, I want to do it this way. If you guys have, uh, do you guys have any new Google account, guys? Can you, can you, can any one of you? I'll just, I'll just hold on for maybe two, three minutes. If you guys can create across, both of you can create across a new Google account and give me username, ID, and password for that. I'd use that for the purpose of showcasing how do we get started with AdWords right from the beginning, guys. All right, so take your time, take take two, three minutes, and then create across a new, I mean, it has to be a new account, guys, and uh, we'll work on that. Both of you can actually create one.
All right, thanks, Chitanya. I'll just go ahead and log in with this, and then we'll get started. Okay. All right, now I'll log in to AdWords. So what we have to do, we have to go to adwords.google.com. Now this is the step number one. In order to go ahead and promote across your stuff on the internet, guys, on the search engine to be precise, all right, in the paid section. Now, once you're there in adwords.google.com, this is the first screen, guys, which you'll get. Go ahead and click on to sign in. All right, I'll sign in with this account. Second. All right, not with this one too. I'm using another browser now. All right, so I'm just logging in to this account. All right, it says wrong password. Is it a period in the end, Chaitanya? 5823 dot, is there a, I mean, I mean, there's a dot after that? And is A in caps? I believe uh, that's where it is. All right, it should happen now. You can change your password later on. All right, perfect. So you can change your password, Chaitanya, later on once we'll be done with this exercise because this session is getting recorded and it will be shared with everyone, right? So there sh should not be any... <laughs> wrong things being done. All right, now another thing which I would want Chitanya from you is any particular website for which you want to create across an advertisement. We'll not be linking our you know, credit card or debit card at this given point of time, but uh, what we'll be doing, we'll be creating the ads. For that, I need a website. I think it was you only who gave me a website last time. That was your college website, right? Was that someone else? All right, it was you only. That's great. Perfect, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use across this website for the purpose of creating ads. And Goresh, I, I hope you're uh, following, right? Uh, what we are doing at present. All right, thanks Goresh for acknowledging. Just because I have, I, I go ahead and mute everyone. That's why I keep asking for acknowledgement. It's very important for me to know that there are people on the other side listening to me. All right, so this is the website, guys, which let's say we have to go ahead and promote across. We're taking across a, a hypothetical situation, but this would be there. This, this uh, I mean, in, in a real world, these kind of websites are the only one which you have to go ahead and promote across. Now, this is a website of a college, a degree college, and what would they really go ahead and promote? Usually it's the product and services which are being promoted across. So it says BCom, foreign trade, bachelor of business administration and so forth. So let's say if we have to go ahead and promote across a, uh, a college which provides uh, you know, bachelors in commerce and foreign trade, bachelors of business administration and so forth. These are the things then uh, what is the approach which we'll be taking, all right? Now over here also we can go ahead and you know for, follow the same procedure guys which is to go ahead and send across that questionnaire, that questionnaire which we use for SEO. Similar questionnaire can be used across over here. It's just that instead of uh, the questions which were very much pertaining to the SEO part, 
we can change them and ask the questions to the client related to the activities they have done for, for the paid advertisement in the past if they have done would like to would like them to you know would like the client to go ahead and share across the reports the amount of uh, you know the kind of achievements they have uh, received from the previous campaign and so forth or they were learnings and so forth so once you've got those requirements then you start with creating across uh, you know advertisement in order to promote across the product and services which the client is offering now over here i'm uh, in the first this is the first screen guys in this first screen let me tell you we will we will not be entering across the details which are being asked over here i will not be entering across the website the very first thing i have to do is i have to click on to this skip the guide it set up why i am saying click on to this guys because if i'll go with the skip with the guided setup which will come it will be a less of learning not all the you know features will come in i want to show you all the features which google adwords provides us i'm clicking on to skip the guided setup and then we'll start with the actual google adwords stuff if you remember the keyword planner tool which i gave you uh, which i had explained across when we were doing search engine optimization uh, that will be accessible to you only after clicking onto that skip the guided setup only all right now here we have been asked now this is as per the hierarchy guys as per the hierarchy what were the things what was the level 1 do you remember what was the level 1 in a google adwords hierarchy guys was it the google adwords account at the level 1 or was it a campaign or was it a ad group or was it a ad or a keyword chitane said it was country and language all right well it was uh, country and language definitely we put in across and uh, the settings all right uh, all those things definitely come in across but if we i talk about specific level it was the ad uh, the adwords account adwords account was a was at level number 1 let me just recall that so account adwords account was at level number 1 level number 2 of the hierarchy of the account was campaign and then level 3 was ad groups and level 4 was ads and keywords together now keeping this in mind account guys with which was level number 1 here you can see there are details about creating your account this is level number 1 guys it's the same thing we have been asked the things related to our account only this is level number 1 and we have to put in across small little details about our account like in which country you know is this account based out of is it india or united states or australia and so forth what time zone and what currency well automatically they have come in across correct i do not have to take the effort of select another currency and so forth one more thing which i have told uh, or if uh, you know to told earlier and i'm saying it again that if you go ahead and put in across uh, you know a certain time zone and a currency in the beginning in while setting up an adwords account you cannot change them later on so this is not editable later on so make sure that you put in across a specific country and time zone and currency for which uh, in which you your business or your client's business is going to be like all right now if it's indian rupee guys it doesn't mean that i cannot promote across any website from this adwords account which is uh, based out of uh, any uh, country other than india i can do that is just that i will be billed in indian rupees all right i will be billed across from my uh, in in the indian rupees and so forth and let's say uh, i have used a canadian credit card i i want to set up across a canadian credit card in an adwords account where my country is put in across india time zone is india and currency is indian rupee i can do that it's just that the extra money of exchange rate would be you know levied on my credit card so it's better to always put in across that country uh, of which credit card you've got so if i've got credit card or debit card or bank details whatever any of these can be used of a particular country that same country should be entered over here all right so i'm going ahead and clicking on to save and continue so the credit card debit card and on the and also the business these are the things which defines what country or currency you will put in over here so this is level 1 guys in this level 1 this is something uh, which needs to be 
submit it and these are not at all technical right i'm going ahead and clicking on the save and continue or it's, it's getting saved it's taking a bit of time seems like some issue with adwords or something all right it's, it, it is getting done All right, so this is the second screen, guys, which comes in. Now, if I recall you, the second level, guys, after account was campaign, I also mentioned that AdWords account is always going to be one, but underneath one AdWords account, which is the level two, in level two, there can be multiple campaigns. Over here, because of the restriction of the space, because of limited space, we've got just two campaigns being mentioned over here but we can have multiple campaigns and the maximum amount of campaign guys, which we can have is 10,000, 10,000 campaigns. So we are an, on level number two after AdWords account, we've got campaign. I also told you that the campaign ad groups, all these dissection can, uh, you know, the decision that what would be a campaign and what would be an ad group and so forth. We can get across some idea from the website. So now I'm going to the website and trying to see what kind of a thing I'll put in across in the campaign and what would be my ad group and so forth. So let's say I can see that BCom uh, foreign trade, BCom powered with BFSI. So something which is called BCom is common amongst all these courses. I can have, let's say one campaign, which would be BCom and my uh, ad groups can be, ad group number one can be foreign trade, ad group number two can be BFSI, ad group number three can be computers and ad group number four can be advertising sales promotion. This is one approach, but what are the other things which are there on the website? Let's look at that. Well, these are some internal things. Probably we might not really look at, uh, you know, in uh, look at promoting through a specific, uh, what do you say, separate advertisement. These might, these things might get be punched in across in my landing pages. All right. But uh, I might not really create advertisements around those because my products are the ones where, for which landing for, for which the advertisements are created separately jobs contact and so forth now when i see that majority of the things which have to be promoted are these my courses and i have understood that my campaign can be one uh, campaign number one can be named as bcom and ad groups underneath that can be all these four ones but i can change my decision i'm changing my decision i will probably go ahead and create one two three four and five different campaigns because i don't see uh, this website will be way too bigger. That approach of having a campaign and having several adverb, you know, several ad groups underneath, I might do it when the website, uh, you know, size is pretty huge. As of now, we just have one, two, three, four, and five. Let's try to go inside one of the course, which is BCom Foreign Trade, and see if there is something more, which is a subcategorization. Well, not really. All right. It's, it's just information about entry requirements and so forth. All right. Now, when I have to go ahead and uh, you know promote across these courses, let's start with BCom Foreign Trade, okay? BCom Foreign Trade is going to be my first, cam first campaign, guys. Now with this, I'm going back to my AdWords uh, account. And I'm clicking on to create your first campaign. This is what I click on to. Another thing which I would want to tell you guys is when you are creating across these campaigns, you know, all these things which you are seeing over here, these are great inputs. These things provide great inputs about uh, various other things which are there in the AdWords account. You know, let's say if you are stuck somewhere or if you want to enhance your knowledge about something, you can... <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. You can always approach these links to, you know, broaden across your more knowledge. All right. Uh, and, and get some more understanding. So these are great help uh, material, which are being provided by Google. I'm clicking on to create your first campaign. 
and with this i will be able to create my ads choose my budget select the keywords and there is something called match types which i'll talk about and i can enter across my billing information and so forth so let's create, click on to create your first campaign all right now over here with create your first campaign guys this is the page which we are getting across now what it means is in this particular page which is the campaign settings page we will be able to perform several settings we will be able to provide across several inputs to google adwords which will help us to target across our advertisement to the right set of people when i say right set of people the definition of right set of people means people who would uh, you know would be uh, would be my potential audience the ones who would be more much more uh, closer towards getting converted i would be choosing in those people i would be playing around with settings in a certain way that i am able to showcase my ads only and only to those people who have a higher propensity higher chances to get across converted instead of going ahead and showing my ads to everyone and anyone in this world which is absolutely not true all right now with this we would be first starting with all features guys i want to show you every single feature over here not just you know limited ones so that's why i selected all features and the type over here guys are multiple i think i did tell this in the beginning that google adwords doesn't just let us create across advertisements which appear on the search engine result page but also advertisement which appears across on third party websites Now on third party websites we do get to see banner ads video ads those flash ads uh, and several other different kind of and even video ads and mobile app ads right so display ads comes across advertisements on the google display network google display network consists of various websites which have subscribe themselves to google adsense and they're offering space on their website to earn money shopping ads also i have shown you shopping ads are something which are shown on the search engine result page only but there's a separate tab there's a separate network which is being selected for this the video network basically consists of the youtube videos the videos which you get to see on youtube we can go ahead and showcase our video ad you know in between those video ads or before those video ads we'll we'll study this part also and we'll also study the app campaign you know how the mobile apps are being promoted we are starting first with search then we'll keep on jumping around to all of those one after another all right so let's click on search network on the to begin with all right now over here i'm going to be putting across a name to this particular campaign guys it was bba what was it sorry bcom foreign trade all right bcom foreign trade correct uh, chetanya is there anything uh, which you which you want me to focus more on they they can be you know you might say okay not let's not start with foreign trade is if there's something which is more uh, a, a higher selling product or uh, something which you have more preference towards do you want me to bba all right so let's uh, take into consideration bba bachelor's of business administration so we will be running across bba campaign or right, so i have been bba only so bba search campaign now with that being said i've got the campaign name up i've got this network selected and network i hope you have understood that my ad will be appearing across in the search results for specific keywords which i'll be selecting all right and i've got all features selected over here don't get yourself confused with all these other options because these will come in later on all right now comes in the second thing guys which google adwords is asking us at the campaign level this is a, this is the campaign level level uh, le level number 2 right in the hierarchy if you remember in the hierarchy i'm saying it again after account plus campaign level number 2 and in the campaign let which is level number 2 all these settings are coming in we got these things up now network guys a google doesn't just have a display network display network i made you understand yesterday that all those websites 
all those various publishers uh publishers websites who are willing to earn money by offering space on their website they go ahead and approach google and they approach google with the help of google adsense google's product right they file in an application they, if their application gets accepted uh then google gives them an opportunity to uh, you know earn money by taking the space which they are offering whether it's you know the top most position the top most section of the a website or the bottom section of the website or the right hand side section whatever it may be right when that happens across uh the google display network uh gets across more websites this way any website which is which is uh, approved by google from the google adsense and they are able to offer across space to advertisers they all become a part they all become part of google display network which we understood yesterday if there is any question about that you can ask me now similarly google has got one more network that is called google search network now this google search network consists of those websites those platforms or those products which only google owns the google display network consisted of consists of the websites which are owned and operated by someone else whether it's let's say ndtv or whether it's uh, any other website they all are operated and owned by someone else other than google but google search network consists of all those websites google search network consists of all those uh, what do you say websites which are owned and operated by google only examples are like google maps google drive or uh, what are the other products google mail and so forth all right if i want to show my ad on these search partners or uh, in total which is called google search network i can let this check box be in all right if i don't want i can just exclude that so it's recommended to go with them i mean they 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 all are good and so forth and the next thing guys is the devices the devices i told you that we do have an option of selecting the devices for which we want you know for which we want our ads to run if i know that majority of my audience uh are using across internet through a mobile phone or if i am aware that the majority of the people who uh get converted are using let's say mobile phone or a tablet i do have the ability to go ahead and select the devices and run my ad only on those devices well that is definitely there but when you are creating a search campaign for the very first time which is this is the first time right this would be eligible for all the devices by default initially your ad will run for all the three devices which is the desktop tablet and the mobile these are the three devices which google puts in across as an option in the google adwords you know later when our ad will start it will run it will start getting reflected people will click onto it the numbers will start coming in the numbers as in in terms of the impressions and clicks and click through rate and how many conversions are coming in and all those numbers will start coming in then we will have the opportunity to edit and run our ad only for the specific devices which i want all right now as i cannot do anything about it over here i cannot make any edit so we'll surpass this and when we'll then we'll move further ahead now comes in the location now chetanya let's say you are my client you, you have this website and you have given this task uh, to a digital marketer let's say me and goresh both of us and uh, you since you are our client we want to ask you <laughs> all right you got the answer also we want to ask you where what location should we target all right so only hyderabad telangana or right, so your audience basically comes in from this area only so the students which you get they are uh, the majorly concentrated towards this so let's focus more on or is there uh, is it more local also i mean let's say if i talk about hyderabad is there only certain uh, localities of hyderabad also which you think uh, you know you've got more more audience coming in from let's say like banjara hills or i'm not sure about the various different places in hyderabad if you know about that also we can put in that as well or right, let me show you uh, how do we really start with let's say i can first of all select a specific country also right let's say i have selected india if i want to i can do that and if i know that i i'll remove that in a while i'll remove this in a while but just to show you i'm running this exercise 
let's say I want to show my ad to everybody who's part of this country, which is India, except for, let's say, a specific place, let's say, Goa. Now, I can exclude Goa. So, I've included the entire country and I've excluded uh, a state, which is Goa. All right. Similarly, I can exclude across a certain city also if I want to. So, state can be excluded, city can be excluded and all those things. Right. So, I've got a state and a city excluded over here and so forth. Now, this was about exclusion and inclusion. I can include at a city level, I can include at a state level and I can include locations at a zip code level also. Yeah, it is absolutely good. Now, let's take a zip code. Uh, any specific zip code which you want to give me, uh, Chaitanya? Which, so, if I go to your contact this section. So, where your college is based, all right, 500082. 500082. And here you go. I have selected this. All right. I'm removing India as of now because you've understood this. As you can see, the entire area, which is 500082, which comes under this zip code, I can show my ad only to those people who are residing within this specific location. Now, that's the another beauty of this. Now, let's look at one more beauty of this particular uh, you know, location thing is that I can pinpoint a center point within uh, a space, you know, within, within this particular uh, locality. Let's say my center point on a map is going to be the place where this college is. So I'm clicking onto nearby right next to this uh, zip code, which I've selected. I'm clicking onto nearby and showing you various different options which comes in. Now, as you can see, 500082 consists of this entire region. All right. This entire region, which is, this comes under 500082, which is Dwarka, Puri, Am Amriprit, Hyderabad, Central, Sangeet, Nagar, and so forth. Right? Now, when you click onto this particular tab, guys, this tab, which you're seeing over here, this button, it will show you the various different regions nearby to this place. All right? Various different zip codes. So, let's say I know that People who are going to come across to my college or I can check, I can even, uh, you know, check my existing database. For a college, it makes a lot of sense to check the existing, uh, you know, student space and find out, uh, you know, find out where are, from which all place my existing students have uh, majorly come from. When I find out that the people from, uh, on, in my college are majorly coming from, let's say, Banjara Hills, I can go ahead and select that particular zip code. They have come in from, uh, let's say, Begum Port, Begum Pit, uh, that's the one, all right. Begum Pit, I can select that. I can select this other one. Or I can Sikandrabad, let's say, or, or any other. So I'm, I'm not really good with all these uh, names over here. All right, so I've been to Hyderabad only twice. All right, so I can select all these places, guys, from the zip code level, okay? And then I can go ahead and click on to done. That's one thing I can do. Okay. Now I'm not clicking on to done. I've just told you that I can go ahead and select places on the basis of zip code. Now, why would I do that for a local business or for a business which knows that majority of the people who comes in and buy across my product or my customers are located in this space. I will go ahead and it makes sense for me to run my ads only for those regions. Why do show my ads to uh, other people in other localities where I, I mean, uh, you know, where I might not get a lot of conversions. It might happen that I'll keep showing my ads to people outside of this network, outside of this location, and I'll keep on getting clicks and impressions, but conversions would be like very less. I'll just may waste my money in that case. All right, so I'm clicking on to cancel. I'm not saving this just to make you understand this process. I have given, I have, I've gone, on, I've gone ahead and done this approach. Now I'm clicking on to nearby once again. Okay. Now the existing, uh, you know, zip code, which was five triple zero eight two, that is still uh, selected. Now this time, instead of clicking on onto this tab, which was showing me the other areas, other zip codes, right? 
I am instead of clicking onto this, I'm clicking onto radius targeting. All right, click onto radius targeting. And if you can see this particular uh, bubble thing, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, I, I'll be making use of this bubble. I've clicked onto this and this bubble, I can go ahead and place it anywhere in the map. Now let's say, I'm just taking a hypothetical situation that this uh, particular, I, I, I'm zooming in further. All right, let me see which particular location this uh, college is in. So shall I, uh, Chaitanya, give you the access, uh, the remote control and uh, do you want to, uh, let me, do you want to tell me where exactly this, uh, what do you say, college is? So that you can, you can drop a pin over there. Central. The Central Biryani Paradise. Oops. Oh my goodness. I went ahead and clicked over there. Let me just, let me do this activity once again. The Hyderabad Central. All right. So, Oh, that's right there. Hyderabad Central. Okay, there we go. So this Hyderabad Central thing, guys, which we are seeing over here, that's where the college is. All right, so seems like a posh location. Uh, you got Hugo Boss over here. You got uh, PBR cinemas and Levi's and Kappa and right must be a great place. All right, now I'm I'm zooming in much more further and Hyderabad Central is right over here. Now let's say I want to uh, put in a cross. So I'm clicking onto radius targeting. I want to put this uh, bubble thing at the Hyderabad Central place. Now what will happen when I put the bubble at the Hyderabad Central? it's been taken as a center point and I'll be able to do a radius targeting. So if I know that people who are residing, let's say five, within the five kilometers, for well, what I did, I have selected five and I've selected kilometers instead of miles. So this is the space guys, this circle which you're seeing over here, right? This circle which has come in over here, this is a five kilometer radius, taking the center point as that Hyderabad central thing. I'm clicking on to done. And that makes a lot of sense. Oops, I didn't add it. I'm so sorry. I'll do it once again. Now this time it will be quicker. I'm clicking on do central uh, radius targeting. And here comes the Hyderabad central. And Not sure why is this not happening. Give me a second. So it says click the blue map marker above and select a point on the map. So I'm clicking it and I'm putting it at the Hyderabad Central and it's still not happening. Not sure why is this happening. But it, every time it happens, every time it works, this time it's not some problem, some issue over here. Give me a second. All right, it's it's being selected now. Now that particular area, Hyderabad Central has been taken across as a central point and I'm putting it, putting the uh, location, I'm, I'm uh, selecting the 
radius basically to be five kilometers and that is the central point and i'm clicking on to add last time i just went ahead and clicked on to done which we didn't complete the action i have to click on to add and i'm clicking on to add that's been added and then now i'm done i'm clicking on to add and then done so this entire location guys people who are residing within this entire location will only be able to see my uh, advertisement all right whenever they will be typing in across a search query now that's to do with location i have told you i've give i've given you an understanding that we can go as wide as we want from a country perspective we can go as minute as a zip code or a radius targeting thing to be done now the next thing guys is uh, all right so advanced stuff just ignore that as of now we don't want to focus on advanced you might get confused so let's work on the major basics one then comes in language guys now when we talk about creating across an ad uh, we need to understand that which is that search engine which our audience uses the most if i know that my audience uses across google english i can select google english google is but various different uh, google is there in uh, google search engine is present across in various different languages and here are the options google urdu is also there google hindi is also there if i want to create across my ad in urdu then i can do that for google urdu but make sure that your website is also in urdu in that case right because that's how it's going to gel well somebody who reads across urdu and your website is in urdu then it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and promote to that urdu reading population or hindi reading or russian or spanish and all these options uh, you concentrate on focusing on them if your website is also in the same language and there is nothing different everything is going to be same it's just the language which will change to keep it simple and uh, to keep it in sync with our website our website is in english so we are selecting english as of now absolutely and then comes in guys the bid strategy now what is the meaning of bid what did we understand uh, a bid is guys just trying to ask each uh, both of you what did we understand the meaning of bid basically i'm not asking about bid strategy but what is exactly a bid all right so then it says how much we spend on a campaign well the right definition absolutely i, I uh, that that is good that's that's uh, that's correct chetanya gorish anything else it's a or a daily budget and bid let me tell you are two different things i have put in a cross in my document also let me put it again mm -hmm. give me a second so budget guys budget per day and bid per keyword for per click are two different things bid is always the maximum amount which you are willing to pay for per click okay Have we understood across all these things yesterday and all right so i'm just putting across this note so that it becomes easier to understand all right so bid is something so this is part of the auction based system all right i'm putting across a note over here and i'll make you understand some more examples i've got to explain all these things in detail all right i'm just trying to find out where should i put this across and it has to be right over here now how do we define a bid guys bid is nothing but it's the maximum amount which an advertiser an advertiser in this case is us we is the we are the advertiser right we are um, as in the college people we are trying to advertise the college so uh, in our case chetanya is the uh, advertiser right and gores is daily budget can be for overall campaigns whereas per click is particular advert 
absolutely right. I'll just talk about that furthermore. That I'll extend these things furthermore. Bid is the maximum amount which an advertiser is willing to pay. Not so willing to pay and actual pay are two different things. Bid is maximum amount which an advertiser is willing to pay per click. Right, per click. Uh, that's it. Now what? And the actual cost per click is another thing. Actual cost per click is the amount which the advertiser pays for a click. All right. Now the actual CPC, which is the actual cost per click, CPC stands for cost per click only. This is the amount which the advertiser pays for a click. It's the amount, the actual amount, the exact amount, actual or exact amount you can say, which the advertiser pays for a click. Now the CPC, the cost per click, the, the cost per click can be lesser than the bid or equivalent to the bid, guys equivalent to the bid punched in by the advertiser in the AdWords panel. All right, this is one thing. Now the third thing guys, which I want to tell you is budget. Now budget is, budget is always uh, provided by the advertiser for every single campaign for every single campaign and for a particular day now what it means is let's say i'm giving across an example a campaign one i'm giving across an example to make it understand guys example which we have over here says that let's say a particular advertiser a Advertiser A says that my budget per day for a campaign one budget per day. So budget is always cal budget is always given across by advertiser on a per day basis and for a particular campaign for a let's say campaign one. So budget day for a campaign one is let's say dollar one thousand. One thousand is the overall amount which the advertiser can spend in a day for a single campaign. Now it's absolutely on him for how many days, for how many days he wants to run the campaign and for how many and how many campaigns he wants to run. All right. Now this is totally, it's on the discretion. It's on the wish. It's, it's the advertiser wish, you know, it is, it is advertisers wish to run whatever number of campaigns he want and for whatever number of total days he wants to run the campaigns and so forth. Now that's up to him. He wants to run, let's say five campaigns for five days and every campaign has got a budget of $1,000. It means five campaigns at a budget of $1,000 each, it means he is willing to spend 5,000. He can spend, he can spend in total. Now this is a total amount. Per click amount is something different to the budget. Things will get much more clear as well. I'll speak for the more guys. Now budget per day for a campaign one is let's say 1,000. Now in this example further, I'm saying that he says that my bid, bid per click, which I'm willing to pay is, Let's say five dollars per click. Now, bid is always on a per click, guys, and budget is the total amount. Now, let's say the actual cost per click. Now, how is actual cost per click calculated? I'll come on to that also. The actual cost per click, which he is paying across, is dollar four point zero one. All right, is four point four dollar and one cent per click. This particular uh, advertiser A is paying. Now, if his entire budget per day for a campaign one is $1,000, so how many clicks will he get? 
the number of clicks the number of the total number of clicks which he'll receive with this budget and with this actual cost per click how much would that be guys total number of clicks which advertiser a will get for campaign 1 in one day will be how much it would be 200 well it would be 1000 which is the total camp budget guys he has divided by not the bid it's actually the 4.01 reason being what he is willing to pay bid per click is 5 dollars per click this is the this is the amount which advertiser says that i can pay this is the amount which advertiser uh, is willing to pay the max this is the maximum amount which is willing to pay but this amount actual cpc is what he actually pays now there is always a variation in that and how is that being there i'll tell you so this amount this amount is the actual cost he is he is charged by adwords all right what he was willing to pay is uh you know 5 dollars per click and what he eventually pays across is 4 dollars and 1 cents now why is this that this amount is lesser actual cost per click will always be either lesser or equivalent to the bid i mentioned this so budget so this particular budget is something which is clear and uh, actual cost i was saying actual amount which the advertiser pays for a click its actual cost it's it's a cpc and cpc i will repeat again it can be lesser than the bid so this is lesser than the bid or equivalent either it can be 5 dollars maximum or it can be lesser than that why does that happen there is a formula for that okay now this example i hope uh, gives a bit clear picture on what exactly happens across so what you bid and what you pay are two different things and your budget is another third different thing so your budget your bid and your actual cpc are three different things guys all right this is going to be 1000 divided by 4 dollars and 1 cents which is equivalent to 1000 divided by 4.01 which comes out to be 249.37 all right 249 Point three seven. So, uh, in in round off terms, we will say two forty nine clicks. Two forty nine clicks is what he would be able to get for the overall amount which he is willing to spend in one day. All right. Let me just save this across. One second. all right so i'll share this later on with you now the auction based system we have i'm just moving away from the adwords account again just to make more things clear guys i've told you that per click price is different to the bid which you put in and actual cost per click and the amount which you are willing to pay for a click are two different things right pay you what you pay and what you are willing to pay are two different things you have understood that the per click price when you pay as an advertiser can never be higher right it cannot be higher than 5 dollars your actual cost which you pay paying and also i told you there is always a bid price guys the maximum amount which you are willing to pay for every click as an advertiser which is to be mentioned by us as an advertiser in our respective google adwords account now this was the stage which we are we were in over here the maximum cost per click which is a bid guys we will be asked to put in and we'll also be asked to put in across the budget per day as you can see these are two different things okay so over here guys we have been asked for bid strategy why i you know went to the documents and why i uh, left the google adwords panel so that this thing gets clear now one thing which i want you to ignore as of now is the bid strategy part these all these options i'll come on to it one by one first of all i want you to understand the basics and then after basics are understood then we we'll jump on to the advanced so that you are, uh, are you're able to you know consume in the 
content in a very appropriate manner as of now we are just choosing across manual bidding manual bidding means manually we will have to go ahead and put in across a bid which is the maximum amount which we are willing to pay every time we want to whenever we want to change it we have to log in to our adwords account there are two sorts of bidding guys there are two major sorts of bidding one is manual and the other one is automated in automated what happens is we give across responsibility to google adwords as a technology right we we'll let google adwords know that mr google adwords we we'll last miss mr google adwords that uh, mr google adwords can you please go ahead and help us out and change in across our bid whenever you think it it makes sense and you can increase the bid decrease the bid for whatever number of times in a day you want to so google adwords will take that responsibility and will change that that is called automated automated bidding we will we'll understand the pros and cons we'll understand what's good whether it's automated good or whether it's manual good and even if automated is done then what all things really one has to do we'll understand all that part all right over here as of now we are just trying to understand uh that another way is the manual one where we as advertiser can go ahead and put in across a bid manually by ourselves manually i can go ahead and put in across a bid let's say my bid i put in across at this given point of time is 10 indian rupees now one of the question guys which people ask me is that how did you decide that this is going to be the the bid which uh, should be put in across i mean was that at a, uh, out of random or was there any basis was there any logic well the basis that the specific amount which you should put in across in the bid uh, column guys comes in from that same tool which is called the keyword planner tool if you remember if you recall when we were studying across the keyword planner tool there were several things there were several information guys which uh, keyword planner was offering us we just concentrated across on the three major things which was the the search terms the uh, the overall keywords basically the keyword suggestions the second thing which we focused was on the the search frequency and the third thing was the competition so there were three things which we focused on but google keyword planner gave us at that point of time one more thing and that was the bid bid for a specific keyword that particular thing that particular tool gives us gave us the a ball park bidding which we should keep for a cert certain set of keywords all right so when we will be using across keyword planner we'll be getting across input that what sort of default bid around what bid should we go go ahead with all right so i'm not going on to keyword planner again i would request each one of you to use that and and find out but if you want me to do that i can still do it i can go to keyword planner and do that process again for you and show you where that default bid suggestion comes in that bit suggestion comes in which ever way or if you remember that all right do you want me to all right yeah if the yes is for go no, to go ahead i can do that let me just show you pretty quickly all right let me just type in keyword planner So I'm going into the keyword planner tool, and I'm going to show you the bidding amount, the bidding amount stuff. How do we really get to know that? A basic, the ballpark bidding amount which we punch punch in across in the Google AdWords panel. All right. So this was the keyword planner, if you guys remember, and we have used this for while doing across our SEO stuff. I'm using. the first option which says search for new keywords using a phrase now over over here i'm typing across bachelors of business administration so what are my different products and uh, so this is one bcom is one bba is another one bachelors in business administration so i'm typing in across the abbreviation and also the full form administration and so forth all right now what is my landing page my let's say home page i'm putting it across as a landing page in the keyword banner i go ahead and put that across and my product category now my product category 
I have to find which one really goes into this. Jobs in education. So education could be the one. And it says education and training. I'm going underneath that. And underneath education and training, I've got these options, which is academic conferences, colleges, universities. I believe this one would be the right one. And it's a graduate program. All right. So it's a, or undergraduate, sorry. It's an undergraduate program. Am I correct? Undergraduate, right? Or is it a graduate? Bachelor's is a graduate, right? It's a graduate, right? And also underneath the graduate, there are furthermore MBA, medical, and MFA. I believe none of them uh, falls under this. So I'll go ahead and type in just the graduate program. That's it. So till the graduate programs, the product category goes. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I've selected that. I can go for the targeting, the locations. If I type in, let's say, I'm typing in Hyderabad as of now. I'm not getting more specific as of now with that radius targeting stuff and so forth. I'm clicking on to save and that's it. Don't work around any other stuff as of now. And uh, just click on to get, get ideas. Now this is what we did earlier also with the keyword planner tool. When we were trying to find out the keywords for which we should optimize our website, those same set of keywords should be used across for our paid campaigns also. All right, I'm going further down and here are the keyword ideas guys and along with the suggested bit. All right, so they, for bachelor's in business administration degree, the business administration degree keyword, it's not uh, at all competitive. So there is no bid being mentioned. Business administration is 23 rupees. Online university is 7 rupees. Online degree is 72, right? And can you see accredited online colleges is 1897. So there are several, there are several, uh, the competitors who are bidding across for this keyword, they are uh, trying to punch in a lot of money. They're trying to put in a lot of money. My goodness, there's a lot of, uh, the com so the competition is not that high. There are a handful number of people who are, trying to get themselves on the top of this keyword, but those handful number of people are bidding in way too much for this specific one. Now, what I've received is uh, overall ballpark, uh, you know, bid for these keywords, BB College in Hyderabad is 32. So I can go back and I can type in across a similar kind of a uh, default bid, let's say 35 is what I type in. Now, another rule of thumb, which I want to let you know, whatever suggested bid is, being provided across my keyword banner in the beginning, always try to, uh, you know, put that bid or a bit higher than that. Initially, when we will start with an AdWords campaign, we will not be having a, a quality score, right? Since the quality score won't be there, the only way through which Google AdWords will decide uh, whether to, you know, give us a great position on the search results or not is going to be just the bid, but as and when more people will search those same queries, our ads will be shown and will be getting the clicks, then the quality score will keep getting calculated and the ad rank formula will come into action and Google will run that ad rank formula on the back end, which we won't be able to see and Google will decide which advertisement will rank first, which advertisement will rank second and so forth. Over here, so that's the thumb rule to always go with a bit higher price. And when our advertisement will start running across, we will improve the quality score and with improvement in quality score, we can keep decreasing the bid and that would be the end goal to have lesser bid and higher quality score, right? Bid in less with higher quality score to achieve better ranking. So you've got a default bid of 35 and now budget is totally dependent upon me. Let's say I've got a budget of 200 Indian rupees per day. I'll talk about, like I said, bid strategy later on, guys, in detail. As of now, we have just selected the manual. Another rule of thumb, which I, another thing which I want to let you know, guys, a bid, a bid amount can be changed by us. Let me just put it across over here so that it becomes uh, accessible to everyone. A bid per click, which is set up, which is... All right, so a bid per click as of now, a bid per click can be changed n number of times, all right? Any number of times, n number of times in a day. So if I want to change it, let's say 2,000 times, 
I am today putting across. I am right now putting 35. After two minutes, I decide 36. Then I want to put in across 32. Then I want to put in across 33. Whatever number of times in a day I want to change my bid, there is no restriction. There is no restriction in that. All right. Now this is up to bid, guys. The bid budget. We have understood the language. We have understood the location. We have understood devices, the network, the type, uh, the type of the network, the features, and the campaign name. We have understood up till here. Then comes in delivery method now this delivery method part guys over here what you are seeing is there are two options there are two delivery methods which have been provided across over here and these two options say standard and accelerated now what exactly it means is that this overall budget we have guys this budget which is 200 rupees at some times you know Sometimes this particular budget might be pretty less, pretty less uh, in the sense that I won't, I would not be able to judge or I would not be able to see uh, how well my ad performs in the different, uh, you know, different hours of the day. So my budget, let's say, comes out to be lesser from this point of view that my ad doesn't run for overall for throughout the day just because my budget is less what happens is let's say my ad starts running uh, from 12 midnight since the budget is per day which means per day means 24 hours now let's say my uh, ad starts running from 12 midnight and i've got a budget of 200 rupees so 12 right at 12 midnight i'll have 200 indian rupees uh, to play across with and showcase my ad now from 12 midnight till 12.30, which is in within half an hour. Within half an hour, I have received, let's say, 10, uh, you know, 7, 8 clicks. And my overall budget per day, which is 200 rupees, is exhausted. Now, if my budget gets exhausted within half an hour, I will not be able to, you know, uh, advertise my, uh, you know, advertise my stuff for the rest of the remaining hours, for the remaining hours of the day. For the remaining 23 hours and 30 minutes, my ad will not be showing up. It will stop because my budget per day has been exhausted. Now, the only way I can get across my ad shown up for the remaining hours is either by coming back to the AdWords platform and changing across the budget. Even the budget can be changed n number of times in a day. If I put in across a budget of 200 rupees, I can then increase from 200 to 2000 to 5000 to 10,000, whatever way, whatever amount I want to. Now, the thing is, since the budgets are uh, limited, guys, and uh, because of limited budget, we are not able to run across our ad for the different particular hours of the day. All right. With this 200 Indian rupees, I might not be able to see the kind of people who look into my ad during the afternoon hours, during the late evening, during the evening hours and so forth. Since my ad got uh, stopped because of budget getting exhausted in the first half of the day, rather in the very, very first half, I would say, this is a disadvantage that I'm not able to check how the audience is like in the, you know, who comes during the afternoon hours. It might happen that the audience which approaches and which types in across the keywords which I select mostly during the afternoon hours and this audience is the one which converts the most. So this is a disadvantage that I cannot really observe, can check, can identify the performance of my campaign for the remaining part of the day. Now what this delivery method is there for, it is there for the purpose of dissecting my overall daily budget into bits and pieces and show my ad throughout the day. So if I'll select standard, what will happen? My ads will be optimized. The delivery of my ads will be optimized and spending budget will happen. The budget spending will happen evenly over time. Evenly in the sense, let's say 20 rupees out of 200, 20 rupees or 30 rupees or 40 rupees, whatever, will be given across to the, uh, let's say, first section of the day, the first half of the day or so forth. And then the other sections of the day will get another 50 and then another 50 and another 50. So let's say this 200 rupees gets dissected by Google into four different equivalent parts, which is 50, 50, 50 each into different hours. So that you get to see at least a flavor of 
how the advertisement how the overall audience really you know behaves in the later half of the day in the overall portion of the day and so forth so this is the delivery method if in case you do not want to do that and you straight away want to showcase your uh, ad in an uh, in a accelerated way where you do not dissect the overall budget throughout the day you can select the accelerated in the accelerated what will happen you may miss traffic in the later part of the day so if if you are choosing this right the standard delivery is always recommended in order to uh, recommended for the most of the advertisers to see you know what what exactly is happening across and so forth in the other part of the day right so this is delivery method then comes in the other part guys which is ad extensions well ad extension is a pretty long topic and ad scheduling and so forth uh it's 4 o'clock we can go ahead and uh, take for almost 3:54 we can go for a 20 minutes break guys and then after that i'll make you uh, walk through across the entire ad extensions and uh, we'll tell you what is the overall benefit of having ad extensions across okay or maybe ad extensions will also come in later i'll first of all get the ads created and then we'll uh, work on bit start the ad extensions later on so uh, time for a break and then after the break we'll go ahead and uh, look into the other aspects all right so i'm going here and mute and we'll go for a pretty minutes break guys
All right, so let's get started after the break. Perfect, just trying to check if you can hear me. Gorish and Chitani, I, I believe you guys can hear me. All right, perfect. Thanks. So we were done up till the delivery method. I explained you what exactly we mean by delivery method. Now add extension guys, I'll make you understand later on once we are done with the basics. All right, so there are few things which would come in step two, like bit strategy will come in later and add extensions will come in later. The other thing which you can see over here, all our advanced settings. Let's try to see the major basic ones which needs to be performed in order to make sure that we optimize our ads for the right set of people, optimize our, for our ads in order to get across better ROI. The other settings in, at the campaign level, so we are still at the campaign level, right? The level number two, if you remember, right? So this level, Underneath ad extensions, we have got advanced settings in which the option number one is schedule started and ended and ad scheduling. All right. Now, what exactly is this all about? I can go ahead and put in across a started and end date uh, in terms of my ad. I do not have to go ahead and, uh, you know, log into my AdWords again and again in order to pause it and play the camp, play the ad and so forth. I can set in alerts, I can set in rules on the basis of which my ad will start at a time when I want, it will pause at a time when I want, it will end for on the day, on the date which I want. So as of now, the dates have to be mentioned. Let's say I want to start my advertisements to be displayed right from today, which is March 5th and March 31st, let's say, is the day when I want my ad to be stopped showing across, all right? I do not want to get, you know, charged after this. Maybe there can be several reasons we put in across the schedule started and ended, guys. Let's say for an example, for a college only, we know that the admissions, the admissions which are going to happen only will happen till 31st March and there won't be any further application accepted after 31st March. So it makes sense to go ahead and promote it till that time. Then comes in ad scheduling. Now this is for a specific day, for every single day and, and for the entire week. Now what you can see over here when we are in the ad scheduling, I've got an option to select all days, which is Monday to Monday, Monday to Sunday, or I can select Monday to Friday, or I can select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday separately. Let's say I know that my audience, uh, you know, which are majorly the, what do you say, parents, parents of the uh, students who would uh, be going ahead and taking the admission, they are the major decision makers or sometimes it's certain role is there with the students as well. So I would say 70% uh, decision making ability for a college kind of a thing lies in the hand of the parents and 30% with the student or it's 50, 50, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, the client would be able to tell me much more. I'm taking an, I'm, I'm just taking a figure like, so let's say I know that the parents have, do not have much time to really focus across on these, uh, on, on finding across colleges during the week days, which is Monday to Friday. They've got more time during the weekends to search over the internet and find out which are the best PBA colleges or, you know, best uh, BC, uh, BB, uh, BCom colleges and so forth, colleges which are offering these courses. Now, when I know that Monday to Friday, it's a lesser amount of consumption, which they do. Maybe they do it in the afternoon hours, right? So I can select Monday, let's say, I want to run my ads only during the afternoon hours when it's the lunch hours, let's say 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. I want my ad to run on Monday, okay? Similarly, I can define it for every single day. I can, I can even, let's say, put in across another alert that on Monday, once the ad has stopped, at 3 p.m., I can. I want to start it again at let's say 9 p.m. in the in the night hours, 9 p.m. till 10 p.m. So for one hour more, I know that this is another hour when majority of the, you know, it's the majority. I'm just giving hypothetical figures. I mean, definitely, you know, uh, these can be changed on the basis of what the business is all about, what the what the end customer is all about. When you know that. 
So for Monday, I can play and pause, play and pause for different intervals, which I want to. So this is only two intervals for which I have scheduled. I can put in across multiple. I can even play and pause at a gap of five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes also. Also, I can put in across for other days similar like this. All right. So let's say for Friday, you can put it across for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so forth. For Friday, I'm starting at, let's say again, at 1 p.m. and getting it done by, let's say 5 p.m. Now I know that Friday, it's the weekend is approaching by, so maybe the uh, parents are more focused, they, they, they have, they've got more time to concentrate on this activity. So 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. is what I've selected. And then Saturdays and Sundays, I can give in across more number of uh, hours to this so let's say this is on saturdays uh, starting at 8 a.m in the morning till let's say 10 p.m in the evening and so forth or it's similarly i can do it for sunday and so forth i hope this concept is clear so automatically my ad will stop at on march 31st because you know applications accepted after that i can go ahead and start my ad and stop my ad uh, you know, for specific hours, for a specific day, and so forth. Now, the display clock over here, we have selected 12 hour. That's why the AM, PM thing is coming across over here. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know, 24 hour clock, it, that could have been. Uh, this is a uh, time zone, I told you, it cannot be changed. We have already selected the Indian time zone, which is Asia, Calcutta, and now this cannot be changed. The other advanced setting, guys, is ad delivery, ad rotation. Now, over here, guys, what exactly this option is all about, this says that, do you want to give across command to AdWords technology to go ahead and optimize your ads for the clicks, for getting across good amount of clicks? Well, if you want, you can do that. Now, something uh, uh, is getting passed on to ad, uh, AdWords as a technology, the, some uh, sort of, uh, I would say, work in terms of optimizing, but the optimization, the overall effective, uh, you know, techniques will be identified by us only. We will be running the ads and we will be identifying that for which particular keyword, for which particular timing, for which particular day, for which particular hour of the day, we are getting more conversions, you know, all these things will be analyzed by us only. But Google AdWords will also do its part. Google AdWords as a technology will also look into all these things and will make sure that we the, the ads are shown during those uh, timings, those days, those for those clicks and for those locations where the conversions and clicks are coming in the most. Now, the first one is all about optimizing for clicks. This is allowed right now. This is, I mean, we do have the option of selecting this. But the other one which is optimized for conversions, if we talk about, with this one, uh, we will be asking Google AdWords to go ahead and give us much more conversions, much more conversions with whatever budget we have in a day. All right, whatever budget and whatever bid we have decided. But now this is not available just because there is one of the tasks which is not being done uh, in the AdWords account yet. Only after doing that, this option will be allowed and accessible. And that particular task is all about setting up conversion tracking. I'll talk about how do we set up conversion tracking. Now, conversion is a definition, guys, which is very subjective. It differs from business to business. Now, in this kind of a business, which is a college business, usually we do, we do not sell across things uh, on the website itself, right? I mean, it won't happen that our parent will come and will say, bachelor's of business administration, okay, I want to buy one BBA, right? It's not an e-commerce website. Definitely paying the paying mechanism would be there, but it's not a, a you know, a product just the way we have an e-commerce website where anybody can find two of those or five of those and so forth. So with that being said, in this kind of a website, the conversion definition won't be a sale. A conversion definition for this kind of website would be more of a form filler. Now, one ex uh, suggestion which I can give uh, Chaitanya that in your website, Having a form fill up is something which uh, should be there. I mean, having a form which uh, asks the visitor to go ahead and submit across their details should be there. So you have got a vacant space over here. Maybe having a form fill up functionality on the right hand side is something would uh, really make, a, would make sense because at the end of the day, you want to capture across, you want to capture across the details of those people who are interested. 
right? Of those people who are interested. So let's say, uh, so the conversion in this kind of a, conversion in this kind of a website, guys, is a form fill up. So if I'll go to the contact us page, you might find a con uh, form fill up over here. All right, so it says the course search and inquiry form. So this kind of inquiry form, which does say student name, phone number, email, and course, uh, you know, and so forth. At the end of the day, the uh, overall uh, the conversion is being defined in this kind of a website with a form fill up. Now, what usually happens is uh, this website, this kind of website is. Uh, as a have is, is for focusing more on getting across more inquiries and another sort of a website will focus more on getting sales and another sort of a website might focus more on getting across uh, downloads. So, you know, let's say a particular website offers a lot of content, a lot of PDF, a lot of webinars and so forth. So that website might say that my definition of conversion for a specific campaign is the number of downloads. If people are coming to my website and they're downloading my content, that is a conversion. So we will see how conversion is being set up. Once the conversion is being set up, only then this uh, second option for optimize for conversion comes in. All right. Uh, forget about these rotate evenly and rotate indefinitely. This is uh, to uh, I mean this is not much better than the optimizing across. So either you optimize for click or optimize for impression. Rotate evenly is nothing but your ads would be. Uh, shown across evenly for at least 90 days and then would be optimized evenly in the sense that certain times it would be shown in the first half and sometimes in the second half for whatever day, whatever timing you have scheduled across. So let's say if you have scheduled 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., it will focus uh, on uh, scheduling, uh, optimize, you know, rotating across your ad at 1.15, at 1.30, at 1.45, at 2 o'clock, at 2.30 and so forth. Now this is very similar to what we covered in the delivery method, which is standard one, which we selected. All right. And rotate indefinitely. Uh, the other option is not recommended for most of the advertiser. What happens with rotate indefinitely option is that the lower performing ads, right? Uh, the lower performing ads are shown more evenly with the higher performing ads and the optimization is not being done. So it's, uh, it's used across in very limited business scenarios. So just, just forget about these as of now, because the only two options which are recommended are these two. You start with optimize for clicks, then you go ahead and set up the conversion. Conversion setup, I'll tell you, it's done through this tool section only. When you set up the conversions, uh, when you set up the conversion and you run the ad for a uh, good amount of time, good amount of time in the sense, let's say, 10, 15 days and you've, you've started getting conversions, some data has poured in. Then after that, once the data has poured in, then you can change from optimize for clicks to optimize for conversion. Another thing which I guys want to let you know is that whatever things which we are putting across over here, whether it's ad scheduling, the start date, end date, we'll come on to ad extensions also. Whatever you're putting in the delivery method, the budget, default bid and so forth, all of these things, are, it's not that you cannot change it. You can change it at any given point of later on, whether it's even to do with location, whether it's even to do with the selection of uh, search partners or search network, we want to show your ads on search network, all these things can be changed, right? But, uh, and even the campaign name, you want to change it, you can do that, right? So all these things, all these settings which we have done so far are pretty important to understand the paid, the budget, the delivery method, the scheduling and so forth, whatever you put in today, it, it is not that it will remain there for a certain period of time and then only you can change it. You can change it any number of times in a day. Now forget about these other advanced option guys as of now. Uh, these are like I said advanced level. We can look into them later. Click on to save and continue and we can move ahead with these basic level of settings. These basic level of settings are good to get started and understand what AdWords do provide us. I hope now the theoretical part which we have covered earlier is somehow uh, getting placed over here. Some things were being talked about earlier like scheduling and uh, the schedule date and end date and so forth. So all those things and then we, uh, we spoke about in theoretical way the hierarchy. The hierarchy if I go back again 
were did and uh, made us understand that the level one was the account right i'm going back again level one was the account level two was the campaign so we are done with campaign now after i clicked on to save and continue after campaign guys underneath every campaign you can create multiple ad groups and here we are after the campaign uh, page was done and i have clicked on to save and continue this is the third level which is right in front of us and that's called ad group guys okay we are starting with first of all uh, ad group number 1 and underneath the ad group number 1 we've got a text ad all right we've got a text ad to prepare across and there are certain conditions there are certain uh, character limits which we need to know by heart i mean why i'm saying know by heart in the sense most of these things because when you will be appearing across for google adwords examination guys and you will be getting yourself certified then uh, you know all these questions will come in and you would you would be expected to know them you would be expected to know what is the correct limit uh, what is uh, i mean what all things are there and so forth okay now over here guys we've got the very first thing the very first input which we have to enter is the ad group name i'm putting across is as putting this name of this ad group as ad group number 1 i do not see any other uh, what do you say sub categorization in this example we have created a campaign number 1 which is bachelor of business administration had it been that under bba i had multiple categories then i would have put in across ad group 1 as a sub category 1 and ad group 2 as sub category 2 i do not see any other is is there anything which you can think of chaitanya that our bba stuff should be further classified under this or that i can create across not really okay fine so since there is no further sub categorization so we are going with ad group number 1 only and we are creating a text ad for that now let's say uh this is my landing page the bba one all right the only thing which is missing with the landing page is a form filler functionality and so forth which will definitely happen later on what we are doing we are copying across this url and pasting it across in the in this section which is called final url now there is there are two sort of urls guys final url and display url first of all i hope you guys are clear on to what url is url stands for uniform resource locator which is nothing but it is a web address we understood in the search engine optimization uh, procedure also search engine optimization module that how do we get across a search engine friendly url with Uh, and so forth right by it, we can edit the url and make sure that focus keyword is part of the url we also understood that no special characters should be there in the url plus us a uh, hyphen between two words is something which depicts a hyphen between two words is something which depicts the space between two words all right now we uh, we over here we've got headline number 1 and this headline number 1 guys as you can see the character limit is 30 so 30 characters are allowed and similarly headline number 2 has also got 30 now most of the scenarios in most of the scenarios the headline 1 and headline 2 they are placed one after another together and they comes right like this whatever i am going to put in over here whatever i am going to type in over here it will come in the preview section okay it will come as a preview now the 30 characters when we say a character is an alphabet okay now like like this we have got new so n is one character e is second character w is third character and then space space is a fourth character guys and y is the uh, fifth character so even a space is calculated as a character so headline number 1 what we really need to make sure that we have best of the best content guys mentioned in the headline 1 headline 2 and the description description is 80 character so just recall 30 30 and 80 so headline 1 is 30 headline 2 is 30 i'll come on to paths later on which is 15 and 15 and then description is 80 now if you are really running a short of ideas that what exactly should be written across in the headline 1 headline 2 i mean if you have got something great uh, thing to talk about about your product you can absolutely go in and put that across in the description or in the headline also you're running some offer you're running some you're providing some freebies 
uh, you've achieved some certification, you have achieved some, uh, let's say, uh, uh, what do you say, a any good success? I mean, there have been certain recent successes which you want to publicize across. Uh, you can do that. All right. Now, Chandanya says we can go ahead and put that across. And that's thanks so much, West BBA College in Hyderabad. All right. This is my headline number one. And the second headline is admissions are open. All right. This is headline number two. And uh, the URL will definitely come on its own, the display URL. And then you need to give me across something for the description. I was also saying that if you are running out of ideas, guys, you know, one great thing to do is go into Google and type in across any specific keyword which is pertaining to your industry. Let's say best BBA college is one of the search query or one of the keyword which you feel your competitors will also be eyeing for. All right. So I think Chaitanya, you did ask me across about this specific stuff the other day. I'm still not able to find, I mean, to be very honest, I didn't get across time to look at what is this thing which Google is offering. I'll look into this. This is something pretty new. This is something pretty new and I can only see this is coming across for colleges and universities. So they, they have changed quite a bit. All right. Now what I was saying that if you're running short of ideas, guys, type in across the keyword and look into the advertisement. Now there is no ad which is being shown over here, first of all. There is no ad by any particular college or a university at who they are not running. Maybe it's Sunday, so they don't do maybe uh, or maybe the place where I'm sitting. They're not they have not focused onto that. Could be any of the reason. Well, you can look into the advertisement of your competitors and find across certain uh, you know uh, you can get across certain input from there. Or the other thing is you can go ahead and even look at the organic one. So it says BBA colleges in Gazawa, top 10 BBA colleges in India, top BBA colleges and so forth. And I mean, these are the things which have been typed in across top best BBA college in Delhi and Sia, top UG colleges in Gazawa. And oh my goodness, everybody's okay. There are the ads. So top BBA college, there are doing good placement, moderate fees. All right. Good placement, moderate fees is one. And curriculum by London School of Economics. Now this is another one. So one can go ahead and you know take across some uh, suggestions from here. Now this was something which I wanted to let you know that if you're running out of ideas, you can select this. You, I mean, you can get across ideas from here. Now I'm going back to the AdWords panel, and I've got a description being offered. So this was a bit uh, larger description. So I have to really cut down on the words. All right, so I might type in top degree college in Hyderabad uh, offering degree courses. So degree courses, BCom, General Computer, BBA, and BCom Foreign Trade, all right. So still I have to cut down on the words. Top degree college in Hyderabad, and instead of Foreign Trade, we do FT. All right, BCom General Computer. So let's say top degree college in Hyderabad. I can uh, remove offering also. BCom is twice. So we can go ahead and uh, BCom General and FT. All right, so maybe we can uh, start offering degree courses, top degree college. So degree is also coming in together. So twice top college in top degree college in Hyderabad. And I think offering is one thing which we can remove. Right, so this is, I think this is good. Degree courses, BCom, General and FT, Computer, MP and so forth, maybe we can use this. And the pipe symbol is something uh, which we usually go for the title tag, uh, not over here, not over here in the, uh, what do you say, in our paid ad. Now we've got the headline one, headline two, which is 30 characters, 30 characters and 80 characters. Now guys, the other fourth thing which we have to enter over here is the path. Now path, if we talk about, 
is the display URL. It's is a URL. Whether uh, it's a URL which will be displayed only in the ad, but it's just for the show purpose. It's not necessary to put in across a URL which exists for sure in your website. So let's say if I type in ethames.ac.in and I type in forward slash, it's 15 characters allowed here and 15 characters allowed in the other box. I can type in BBA and then BCOM. All right. Now it's ethames.ac.in forward slash BBA BCOM. I mean, this is, I'm not saying that you go ahead and type in this. It's absolutely on your wish. What do you want to put in across? But if somebody tries to copy this URL and then paste it across in a new browser, there won't, there might be, I mean, there are uh, most of the chances in most of the cases, there won't be a URL which exists in your website. And nobody does that, to be honest. Everybody clicks onto the headline. The moment they click onto the headline, it's the final URL. It's this page, the landing page, which will open up. All right. Now, this is a preview, guys, of mobile. I can see preview for desktop also. On desktop, the ad is going to look like this. On mobile, the ad is going to look like this. So I've got preview for both. All right. And all right. So these are some sample ads. All right. Sample ad guys, which uh, are there for the purpose of making you understand what all things can you really put in across. All right, so this is again for the purpose of giving you some more ideas. Okay, so this is sample ads and ad extensions we look into later. The advanced version don't, what's the use of the path? The use of the path is nothing but it's just for the show purpose. It's just that it will come as a, one of the elements of your ad. One of the elements of your ad. That's it. It's just for showcasing it. If somebody copies and then pastes it across, it will not work. Now, one thing which I want to let you know, guys, whatever you're seeing over here in the ad, which is the final URL, final URL doesn't come, does, is not getting reflected. Final URL is only for the purpose of giving across input to Google that, this page will only open up and somebody will click and headline one is visible. Headline two is visible. They're coming in together. The path is visible. What is this? Right. The path is visible and also the description is visible. Now when the description is visible, path is visible. Headline one, headline two is visible. And final URL, which is not visible, but this is there. These four or five options, one, two, three, four, and five, are the default elements. These are the default elements of an ad. Whenever you see across any ad, guys, on a Google search engine result page, which has got more things than this, then, that's, then, then that is the usage of ad extensions, which we haven't covered yet. Let me just go ahead and show you. When we were doing a search, when we did a search a while back, we saw that there was an ad, let's say this one. This particular ad, if you try to see, it has got headline one and headline two together, right? And uh, it is clickable, that means final URL is also mentioned. So three things, headline one, headline two, final URL three, element, third element, fourth element being the uh, path, which is the display URL, right? Fourth element is also there and then the description. So these are only these things, which I'm highlighting just now. Give me a second. So up till this. So these things, if I talk about, are the only default ones. These are the only default uh, elements which are needed within the AdWords platform to be put in across by the advertiser. But this. Other than this, guys, which you're seeing over here, this stuff, right? This last one, this line, this one is what? This is basically an ad extension. This is called an ad extension, which we'll understand in detail later on what exactly ad extension is all about. Right? This part, basically, the one with the arrow or
the one which is behind this. All right, so I'm just clearing this one. Add extension. One of the add extension over here is the location add extension. It's, it has got the address and there is another one which is called the call extension, which has got the phone number. We'll study all this. We'll, we'll understand all this later on. All right, so I'm moving back to AdWords. And over here, like I said, add URL options, advanced version. We'll, uh, it's, it's the advanced, we're not looking into this. Now comes in the keyword path, guys, keyword stuff. Now the keyword analysis stuff, which we covered across in the search engine optimization, uh, what do you say, in the search engine optimization process, the same steps, the same approach has to be followed over here in the paid campaigns. So whatever stuff we followed, whatever steps we followed in the, uh, what do you say, unpaid section, which was search engine optimization, they have to be followed now also. We will be doing that keyword analysis separately, right? By going into the keyword planner, we will be coming up with the final list and those final list of keywords guys needs to be punched in over here. Okay. Now that is one thing which can be done or we can even go ahead and uh, look at keyword suggestions, which are being given over here. Now keyword suggestion guys, if we talk about, uh, doesn't really take into consideration that entire analysis, which we perform. So it's always better to go ahead and do the overall entire analysis and select keywords on the basis of relevancy. Number one, the search, uh, the average search volume and also, and also the other one being, uh, the last one being the competition, the competition needs to be less and so forth. Right. Hope that makes sense. Once you are done with this, then you go ahead and put in across keywords and that will be done. But over here, just to make it a faster process, I'm going ahead and selecting some of the keywords, guys. BBA College in Hyderabad, top BBA Colleges in Hyderabad, top BBA Colleges in Hyderabad, BBA Colleges in Hyderabad, top colleges for BBA in Hyderabad, best BBA. All right, so it seems like quite a many of them, best degree college in Hyderabad for MBA, for sorry, for BBA. So BB Hyderabad, there's several keywords guys, which seems like our perfect one. So 2015 might not be the best ones. Maybe, I don't think people would be typing in 2015 now, or they might be. Now, once I've selected the keywords, the other thing guys is to uh, go ahead and, I can estimate even the search traffic guys. Or what's the overall search traffic, which I can really get across. So average cost per click, it's giving me that 19 rupees to 23 rupees per click is the overall uh, cost per click average for these, the uh, you know, the bid basically, which Google is suggesting. And if I have got 200 rupees, my budget, which I've entered previously at the campaign level, I might receive only four to five clicks in a day. All right. That could be the thing. Well, it should be, all right, yes. Cost per day, okay, my cost, per day would be 93 rupees 214. That'll get deducted if I'll have four to five. All right. Now Google AdWords says that we cannot guarantee that these keywords, which we have been selected, which you have selected will improve the campaign performance and they have the right to disapprove any keywords which you add. So you are responsible for the keywords you select for ensuring that you use the keyword that you're using does not violate any applicable laws and something. Over here, you are not using any brand's name. So that's why there is nothing uh, to be worried about using someone, some other brand's name in your keyword can be of a, you know, a hustle or can be of a problem area. So always try to avoid a keyword, which is on a brand name of your competitor. All right. Uh, people do that and ads do run across also on them. So if I'll type in across, let's say there are several colleges over here, let's say Amity Business School. If, if I type in Amity Business School, it might happen that a competitor of Amity might be showing across there. Oops, Amity Business School. All right, so there are, there are no advertisements which are coming up right now, but uh, Usually this happens that on a competitor's brand name, on a competitor's uh, 
branded keyword there are people who type in there are people who you know run in across their ads but as of now i i don't see any ad but i i hope you have understood what i'm trying to say so try to avoid these kind of scenarios where you are picking keywords of your competitors all right people who want to take risk they do take that for sure now we are done with this entire formation of the search ads guys what we can do we can go ahead and set up our billing or we can set up our billing later on all right so i'm clicking on to set up our billing later now here you can see first of all it's saying your account is inactive just because to activate your account uh, and start running you need to enter your billing information and so forth in case you want to go ahead and put in across a certain amount guys in your uh, adwords and uh, run it across let's say for 400 500 rupees that'll give you a flavor of it so i would recommend if you want to i mean I, there's no force guys i mean there is no pressure as such it's all upon you if you want to put put in across a certain amount it'll give you a flavor of how things work and it's a valuable investment other other help which i can do is i can try to look for a coupon a google adwords coupon which might give you more uh, what do you say more uh, bandwidth to play across and these coupons are like uh, you know they they give you an opportunity to they they tell you to you know spend in a certain amount like 500 you spend and 2000 rupees extra google will give you or there is another coupon there are two kind of coupons in for google india that is the other one is you spend 500 and 2000 extra will be provided or you spend 2000 and 2000 will be provided so i have to see which one is available and i can give it to you guys if you want uh want to spend in a certain minimum amount all right perfect chatanya so just let me know chatanya is this a gmail account which you created today itself because for that very purpose we need a google account which is uh, like uh, less than 14 days old so for a coupon to be used across we will be we would be needing across a gmail account a google account which is uh, not not older than 14 days otherwise the coupon won't work if this let's say gmail account which you have given me is excuse me older than 14 days you can create a new one and give that one to me and i'll send across a coupon on that right i'll see from my panel if i'll uh, i'll get across a coupon and when you get the coupon what you do is you punch that across in the billing section all right so you go to the account all right not over here go to this icon this gear icon and in this you go to the billing and payments so i'm just trying to show you where the coupons are being entered across all right so it won't give me the option right now because i have to first of all okay, it says the choice may affect the payment options all right so continue with the option with the country which you have selected and uh, you can select whether it's a business account or it's a personal account if it's an individual account then you don't need to give across uh, tax information right let's see or it's asking for the tan at this point of time this is optional guys this is optional all right this is optional in individual case but if you are a business then this is not optional you have to give across a tax deduction and collection account number right which is a tan number and then you put in across the business name the name address postal code primary contact all right and how are you going to pay whether this will be an automatic payment or manual payment 
all right do you want automatically money to get deducted if you go for automatic you, uh, what will happen there would be a threshold of 30 days after that the uh, swipe will happen all right then you mention the credit card or the debit card address and so forth and that's it once you will be done with that then google will give you an option of putting across the coupon okay so this is to do with the money part and i'm going back to the campaign section once again all right now i hope you guys saw the overall things which we saw theoretically the account level was number 1 we saw account level also we saw the campaign level we where we did all the setting stuff we saw the ad groups where the bidding was being done and then after that the ads and the keywords were being punched in right so all those four major levels were there in front of us all right so chidan is i have to wait for 14 days no 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 i'm not saying that you have to wait for 14 days what i'm saying that the google adwords account which you have created today how old is that is it like older than 14 days or is it being created like today itself or yesterday now it's all right so then i can use it what google adwords coupon uh, you know are being given to google adwords coupons are only given to those google account which are uh, not older than i mean the, so the google adwords account which are older than 14 days they do not get the coupon and the ones which are uh, created recently they can get that but it should not be older than 14 days so i'll i'll get you that i have i just note down across your email address give me a second I'll just make a note of it and try to. And also, uh, Gorish, even you want one, you can give me across a Google AdWords account. And Give me a second. All right, I'll get you one, and and here is the one for. All right, Gorish, you might have to give me the password as well. Uh, just. and later on you can change the passwords and also i'll see if i can get help you with these certifications guys with this with these uh, what do you say ids which you are providing me i'll try to get across the uh, i'll try to see if i can help you with these certifications the google adwords certification all right so chat any of already shared the username and password don't change that as of now all right i'll i'll try to get that and goresh you can uh, in a private chat or you can give me the password too and i can try to help you out with the both the things the coupons and the certification all right so i'm back to adwords account guys over here there are several things guys which are yet to be explored and yet to be uh, you know studied across we we'll now go ahead and start working on the ad extensions ad extensions like i was telling you ad extensions are the things which are uh more than to what your default ad is all right what your default ad your default ad has got a headline 1 and headline 2 and then it has got a path and then it has got a description line now what are you seeing over here 
something more than your default add elements all right just like this which is a clickable thing uh, it's it's a this is called a location extension basically all right anything more than to your anything more in your advertisement more than to what your uh, default add elements are they are called the add extensions now moment i have clicked onto this uh, the particular on the map the specific uh, place has opened up and so forth. All right, now I'm going back. All right. Now, once we have set up the campaigns, we have set it the campaign, this one, right? I can go ahead and change my bid anytime, guys. I can go ahead and uh, once my ad will start running across, these are the things, guys, which uh, Google AdWords will give me, that what number of clicks have I received and what impressions, how many impressions, what has been the CTR, what has been the average cost per click, the total amount of money which has been spent so far. All right, thanks, guys. And... And also, the cost, the total cost, and the average position. All right. Now, what I mean by average position is okay. What I mean by average position, guys, is that sometimes my ad will be achieving across first position, sometimes it will achieve across second, sometimes it will achieve across third position. So for every single impression, there might be changes in the ad rank or the average position. Ad rank or average or the position. Ad rank or the ad position means the same. So sometimes it's first, sometimes it's second, sometimes it's third. So on an average, what has been the position, whether it's 1.2, 1.3. So 1.2, it might really give you, uh, I mean, you might feel, how can there be 1.2? Well, this is a mathematical figure. We know that there is no position as 1.2. It's either 1 or it's either 2. But since they will be creating, they'll be counting in mathematical figures. That's why it can come in points also. All right. And the various other things which we, I would like to show you. The other one is ad groups. So this was the campaign level. Ad group being the other one. In the ad group level settings also, uh, we would get the similar matrices. So reporting can be on the campaign level. If my campaign would have got multiple ad groups, the overall submission of every ad group's performance will be there in the campaign, all right? And if I want to dissect the performance of my campaign into various different ad groups performance, I could have checked it by getting into the ad group section. As of now, we have just got one ad group. I can create multiple of them right from here itself. If I want to create one more ad group underneath this campaign itself, I can do that. So I'm click on to new ad group and I can choose underneath which particular campaign I want, right? I would select the campaign. As of now, there's only one campaign and then I'll move further. Similarly, if I go into the campaigns and I want to create a new campaign, I can click onto this and I can select which particular network on which particular network my campaign would be. The third option, guys, all right, so another thing with ad groups is, if you remember the bid which I told you, bid is put in across either on a keyword level or bid is put in across either on an ad group level, two levels. So as of now, the default maximum CPC, maximum CPC stands for the bid only. The maximum amount, the maximum cost per click which you're willing to spend. So instead of 35, let's say I want to change it to 39 now, I can do that. Now what will happen, 39 rupees, my bid will be applied to all the keywords which are part of this ad group. So let's move on to keyword section, 39 default bid for all the keywords which are underneath this ad group number one you'll automatically see over there. So let's go to the keyword section. Now over here, as you can see, maximum CPC is 39, just because of the fact that it was originally being put in across in the ad group. The ad group, underneath the ad group, 
one, all these keywords. So as you can see, ad group one, 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 all these keywords are part of the ad group number one. And default uh, bid is 39 automatically coming in. Now I, as an advertiser, have a overall ability to go ahead and change my bid at a keyword level also. That minute. So I can go ahead and change from 39 to let's say 56. I can do that. So this is a keyword specific bid. All right. If I leave it blank, then it will automatically be, uh, you know, uh, 39 only, which was the ad group bid. So I'm clicking on to 56. So for every other, it's 39, but for this, it's, it's 56. Now, sometimes Google also let us know that what, I mean, you know, let us know, or you can say a suggestion is being given by Google that this much should be your bid in order to be on the first page. Now, first page either can be on the top position of the first page or the bottom part of the first page. It can mean anything. So this only this particular keyword for this particular keyword, the first page bid, which is needed across the bid, which is needed not to be the first page is at least 43.81. I can probably go ahead and change it across to 45 right now. All right. Now, if I, uh, my bid will actually be on the lower side, uh, lower side in the sense for being on the top of uh, top, uh, not the top basically the first page, it can be on the top of the first page or the bottom of the first page. If my bid is, uh, is towards on the lower side and it's not making me achieve the first page position, Google AdWords will actually give me a suggestion the way you saw it just a while back. All right. Now this is uh, similar stuff guys, clicks, impressions, click through rate, average cost per click, cost, average position, all these matrices we can get at a keyword level also at an ad level also at an ad group level also at a campaign level also. Now our client can anytime ask across for, you know, reporting for on various different levels. If the client is not sure about it, that what all levels are there and the reporting and so forth, try to give across a campaign level reporting. How do you extract the reporting? You go to the campaign section and there is this, uh, what do you say? Icon which says download that download icon. You click onto this and it says download. All right. Now this is the last seven days report guys. You can go ahead and straight away give across all time. Now this is a pretty new AdWords account. That's why we are, do not have a lot of data. I'll show you an AdWords account which does have data and which will give you a clear picture of how, uh, you know, uh, an AdWords account really looks like when the accounts, when the ads are live and the numbers are coming in and so forth. So I can go ahead and click onto this drop down and click onto, click onto the download button. Now it says what sort of a, and even we can schedule the reports also guys. So every time we do not have to download and, uh, take that pain of sending it across to a client. I can even schedule it. I can email and schedule the report. Let's say all account users with specific account users, there is a way to add more users. I can add my client's email address as a user. All right. And the report will keep getting sent across. All right. To all those people whom I want to do, I want the report in an Excel sheet format or a CSV to XML or PDF, let's say PDF format. I can do that. Do I want the day level reporting or the several others device level reporting? I mean, there are several things which can be done. Let me not confuse you as of now with this. So do I want any emails to be scheduled to any specific account users? All right. One of the account, there's only one account user as of now at what frequency do I want daily reports to be sent weekly? If it's weekly, then on which day do you, do you have, have you agreed with the client or maybe your boss, you know, your boss will actually get that across on the specific day, which has been agreed, or do you want first day of the month and or so forth, or let's say even one time, just, it's just a one time thing, right? So this can be done and I am selecting as of now, no one and so forth. And I don't want to save it right now. I can download this in a PDF. Uh, it says your report has been generated and download should begin shortly. And here you go. I'll just show you the down the report being downloaded. All right. So this is how it's going to really look like. So the numbers aren't there. That's why it's all, it's all zero, zero, zero. Otherwise when your AdWords account will run, you'll have the numbers over here as well. Okay. 
Now I'm trying to open across add extensions, which is the other thing which I want to let you know, guys. When you go to the add extensions, you will be able to expand the overall size which your ad will take in these search results. I hope you saw that the size which your ad takes across for the default, with the default advertisement is almost up till this level, I told you, right? But if you want more space, more, you know, your ad to take across more space, then you can use ad extension. There's an extension to an ad. Now, there are various questions which comes, uh, you know, I mean, the topmost question which comes in the mind of every trainee when I talk about this particular topic, ad extension. The first question is that, what is the purpose of using ad extensions? Is it going to be, uh, you know, an expensive affair? Is it an extra cost? Uh, what are the pros and cons? So, you know, these are the common questions which uh, most of my trainees have when we talk about ad extensions. Let me, let me answer each one of them one by one. First of all, the, is this is it beneficial? The answer is yes. Now the other question is how is this how is this beneficial? Well, the answer to this is that how is this beneficial is that that it will take across more space, right? More space uh, as compared to your default ad. Now, if it will take more space, now now the other question is how is it helpful? How is it helpful from the business point of view? Well, the benefit is that. A, a larger or a or a bigger ad always uh, always is more uh, it's always i would say easily detectable a, a huge ad as compared to a small ad a bigger ad a bigger ad as compared to a smaller ad always uh, is easily traceable by the human eyes all right, when I'm scrolling across, maybe the smaller ads might not catch hold of my attention, but this one, let's say, which has got, which has uh, taken across much more space, the chances, the probability for this kind of a search listing, which is occupying more space of the entire search engine result page, right? This will have more op more probability to be seen. And if it's more gonna be more seen, it will also have a probability higher probability or higher chances of getting clicked provided the content which you write is uh, is, is absolutely uh, motivating it's uh, it's something exciting so that people go ahead and try to click onto it all right chaitanya says in ad score we'll get some point on ad extensions yes absolutely in the ad ranking score the ad extension is uh, allocated as 20% when you saw that if you do not have an ad extension while calculation of your ad rank uh, score your ad position or your ad rank score the 20 percent is going to be zero that is another thing so you'll have always one thing is that will the first of the benefit the first of the first benefit is that with the ad extension is that it will occupy more space and more space in of an ad will lead to uh, better trackability by human eyes and it will also lead to more clicks and more clicks means more click through rate right and more click through rate if you remember means more higher quality score so a quality score or at the end of the day will improve which is one of the factor of your ad rank score and the other factor of ad rank score is definitely the ad extension 20 percent is 20 percent is given to the ad rank Right, so both the things are getting improved. The both the things when I talk about, there were two things majorly. There were two things in the ad rank calculation. One was the uh, quality score, and the other one was the ad extension score. All right, quality score of the keyword and the uh, score of the ad extension. The third element definitely was bid, but bid is something which is not in question right now. With the overall ad extension, your couple of things which are getting improved one is the quality score and the other one is the ad extension score which would be zero in a scenario when you're not using ad extension and how is the quality score improved i told you that that the larger the ad better the chances are for getting clicks and more clicks are going to be achieved for the same number of impressions where it means in other words better click through rate and better click through rate means better quality score because if you remember, quality score is dependent upon three things. One is the 
CTR, the other one is the landing page relevancy, and the four, the other one is the ad relevancy, right? So ad relevancy, landing page relevancy, definitely we understand, but the CTR is definitely getting improved when you have ad extensions. Hope that is clear. Are we all good? Can I get a quick confirmation if I if you're good? All right, thanks, Chaitanya, for acknowledging. Goresh, are you good with understanding why ad extension? All right, thanks, Goresh. Now, with that being said, let's try to understand what are the different form of ad extensions. All right, one of the ad extensions I've already shown you, which was over here, that was the location one. How does this location one comes in? How does the other uh, call extension comes in and so forth will tell you. Another sort of an ad extension which you can see over here is this one. I'll just one second. This one is another sort of an ad extension. What you can see, the one on the top, which is the headline one and headline two, then the path and then the description. But this is another ad extension. And one of the other ad extension was this, which is a location one. And right next to the location, there was another one, which is the call extension. Now this one, which you are seeing over here, it's called call out extension. Just try to observe one thing, guys. In this call out extension, there are things which uh, things which are being highlighted over here are the features of the product. Some extraordinary features you can say or something which uh, are marketable features. Features which are being marketed across, which should be marketed across, which should be spoken to the end customer so that they get to know that these all things are also there. So in order to attract the eyes of the uh, end audience, in order to build credibility and so forth, in order to build it, confidence in the eyes of the end customer these uh, features of the product have been mentioned like 30 years of excellence stalwart faculty strong corporate connect registered through set exam and so forth now this one is called the uh, call out extension guys call out extension is the name for this one call out extension always have got the main features like the major outstanding features you can say Outstanding features which should be which should be promoted. Outstanding features which should be marketed and promoted are made part of the call out extensions. Now this is one. The other one which I told you. So this is a All right, so this is a call out extension and this one and this one are the other ones. This is called a call extension. All right, call extension. Now call extension on desktop and call extension on, what do you say? On mobile phones, they come in separately. I mean, they're, their overall look and feel are different. And this one, the very first one which you're seeing over here is called the location extension and the location extension again the way all right so this is called location extension on desktop again now the way a location extension looks like on desktop and the way location extension looks like on phone are different all right Now, the other ad extension which you can see for, uh, which I would like you to focus on is this one. Do you see this, another advertisement, which has also got something extended to their, uh, what their default ad has got. So the default advertisement has got the uh, headline one, headline two is there on the top, then it's the, uh, the path, and then it's the, description which is there but underneath that these 
one, two, three, and four wordings which are over here. These four wordings probably you might uh, confuse it for a callout extension. You might say that this is also a callout extension. This is uh, a written text, but not. This is not a callout extension. What ex what sort of an extension is this? Let me tell you. This extension is called a site link extension. Site link means the internal pages of the website. Now, how did I get to know that this is a site link and the other one was call out? There is a way to detect that. With the site link extension, every particular word, every particular word in site link extension is clickable. All right. So I'm typing it across. Site link extension, they are clickable. They are clickable text. The moment I'm going to be clicking across on any of these four, uh, what do you say, any of these four text, it will make me land onto some other pages, some other pages of my, of, of this website only. So the website, the main website is called doonbusinessschool.com. So if I'll click, I as a visitor will click onto this particular advertisement. It might make me land onto one of the landing pages. Let's say that's a landing page one. But if I'll click on to instead of a uh, headline, I'll click on to the first site link extension that's called BBA. It might make me land on to a landing page number two of the same website, which would be a BBA website, BBA landing page. And then apply now if I'll click on to it might really make me land on to a landing page number three, which is where I can go ahead and apply. In. And similarly, the contact us page and the placement page would be landing page number four and landing page number five. So all the four clicks which are part of this particular ad would make me land who am i i'm the search engine user i'm the i'm the one who's looking at all these ads and i'm clicking onto them so i will be made to land across on five different landing pages if i click onto all five of them all right now citing extension they are clickable text and plus they are internal pages you know, these are the internal pages, internal pages of the same website. All right. Oh. How do I store this? I'm just trying to see. Okay. All right. All right. So I hope this is clear, right? Now, with that being said, we'll also see in the other ad extension, guys, we have seen site link. We'll also see how are these being created. And I've told you what is the overall purpose of having ad extension. It always leads to better quality score and better uh, ad score in total because ad extension score also comes in and the quality score also improves. And also through the ad extensions, various different ad extensions, the overall size of the ad improves, in, uh, increases and so forth. One more question, guys, which uh, which is a frequently asked question is that, is there a, a extra charge for having these ad extensions? Let me tell you, in the ad extensions, anything which is clickable, let's say this particular text, the location text, location uh, ad extension was clickable, or the citing ad extensions are clickable, they are, these only these are a chargeable extra, all right? Chargeable extra in what sense? Only and only when there is a click on these ad extensions, then only there is going to be a extra price which is to be paid. I mean a price which is to be paid and that price is again the per click price. The same per click price which is to be provided, which is being uh, spent, the per click price which will be spent across by these advertisers uh, when there is a click on the headline Right, same per click price will be spent in by the advertiser when somebody will click onto their clickable ad extensions. All right, now one, two, and three, and four, four ad extensions we have seen. I'm going to go ahead and look into all the ad extensions one by one and uh, let's try to understand each one of them separately. All right, ad extensions. 
Now, ad extensions, I told you, it allows you to add extra information to your ads. And many of these extensions allow users to take different actions than, other than by just clicking on the ad, such as the various different sort of ad extension example. I've given you a few and I'll, I'll let you know more. One of the other one is an app extension, guys, which lets people, lets the search engine user install across an app, right? App extension is there the, in order to get directions to your store, which I've already given you, which I've already shown you. That's called the location extension, right? It's also right over here. Location extension, which gives across, uh, you know, the directions to the particular business whose advertisement is right over here. Or another one, which is the call extension. Call extension also gives across opportunity to the search engine user or the ad viewer, basically to go ahead and call up this business whose advertisement is over here in within just one click. So by, uh, you know, they don't have to really get into that process of looking at the phone number, then going ahead in opening the dial pad of the phone and then punching in the phone number. Over here, you might see that the number has been, you know, displayed across in the call extension. This happens, the number is displayed across in the call extension like this for the desktop device only. If call extension is shown across on a mobile device, guys, it's been displayed as a call button. I'll show you. And somebody who clicks onto the call button, straight away he gets to he, he gets connected with that business whose advertisement is there. So he doesn't have to really get into that trouble of opening the dial pad and then seeing the phone number and then dialing the phone number and then making a call. That's a longer process. All these add extensions, whether even with the map location extension also, the moment you'll click onto it, automatically it'll redirect, redirect the visitor or the viewer on the Google Maps, uh, you know, or the Maps uh, application, whichever one is default map application on your phone. I'm talking about the phone if it happens. On the desktop, the location extension, how it works, I had shown you, it straight away made me go to the Google Maps page and if it had been on the phone, it would have made me uh, go on straight away on the Google Maps or the Maps, any of the application, which is the default application, the default uh, GPS navigation application and so forth. And it will give me the directions on how to really uh, jump onto that location, how to really go to that location, uh, what, what's the way out. All right, the very first ad extension, guys, is Sitelink. I have given you a brief about it. The Sitelink extension allows the advertiser to put additional text into your ad. All of them are there for the purpose of putting more, uh, you know, putting additional text for sure, uh, putting more text. Now, each line of additional text in the Sitelink extension is hyperlinked. One of the things with Sitelink extension which separates it from the various other ad extension, which we'll get to know get to see that the sighting extensions are hyperlinked, right? They are hyperlinked text. It leads the visitor to an, another page if they click onto them. If you want to send users to additional internal pages of your website, this is a great way to do it, all right? So that's one. Number two extension, guys, is the location extension. This location, the location extension allow users, allow a user to get direction to your address, all right? I told you about this on a mobile device. If we talk about this extension may open the maps application, whichever default map application, uh, you know, is there on your phone. If you're trying to drive business, you know, if you're trying to drive down to, uh, to that particular store or whatever it may be, this is a great extension to use across. Okay. So location being second, then comes in the call extension. I had made you seen how a call extension looks like on a desktop but have a look at how call extension looks like on a mobile phone, guys. It comes with a call button. So if you want as a search engine user, if you get to see a call extension like this and uh, you click onto this call button, it will place a call to that, uh, you know, to the phone number which the advertiser would have punched in the AdWords account, all right? So if you want phone calls, uh, you are as an advertiser, you want people to call you up. This is a great extension to use. The call extension allows a searcher to call you from the ads. All right. It allows the searcher to call you from the ads on a desktop device. 
the phone number is just shown and on a mobile device it's a phone it's a call button on a mobile device when the user clicks on the call button the phone dialer loads guys all right the phone dialer loads and the call goes through app extension being the other one fourth extension now the app extension allows the uh, search engine user to click onto that particular link and install the app of that specific advertiser so let's say it's bank of america in this case whosoever is okay, seeing this advertisement on their on his or her mobile phone with the ad there is a map ad uh, app extension the moment there is a click onto this app extension the respective app store will open up so let's say if it's an apple one apple device the apple store you know the apple app store will open up or if it's a android one then the google play store will open up and within those stores the app the place where the app is put in across it's it's there that page will open up it will give you an option of installing the app so if you're focused on you know getting across installs for the application then app extension is the best best extension to use across guys all right so that's another one then comes in another extension that's called a review extension the review extension guys if we talk about allows the advertiser allows the advertiser to quote or paraphrase a review which is given across by your any of your customer on a third party website maybe your website or any other third party website so let's say you know you got a review on uh, let's say zomato you are a restaurant and you got a review from a particular customer on zomato you can go ahead and copy that review and paste it across in your adwords account in the uh, review extension and you can even mention what is the source of that review you can mention zomato so if you're trying to showcase what others have said about your company this is a great extension to use all right again this ad extension helps in getting across uh, in, in you know in increasing the size of your ad right the actually the major length the the, the talling i mean it becomes much more tall now let me go ahead and open google adwords guys and show you so there are uh, there is call out and there is structured snippet couple of them which i'll be showing you within the adwords account itself now here is the ad extension tab on our google adwords platform and when i click on to view guys there are several ad extension which are coming in i will be telling you about site link call out structured snippet call extension or right, these four for sure 1 2 3 4 message extension is not getting created the at this point of time it's pretty much a new feature location will be telling you affiliate is also a new and price is also new right and automated extension so there are four of them which have been created new rest of them i'll be going ahead and showing you each one of them how do we create them so site link extensions to begin with i've selected this and i'll click on to plus extension and i've clicked on to plus and it's going to give me an option of putting across a site link extension guys over here google adwords says select at least four site links to use within this account so minimum four site link extensions have to be punched in guys have to be entered over here i am creating the very first one by clicking on to plus new site link all right now let's say uh we had this main page for our website that was the bba page all right now i want to put in across our internal page let's say internal pages of uh, as the site extension let's say one of them is the placements or right, placements jobs facilities and so forth i want these pages to be given across to be given across in the site link extension so let's say placement is one of them i'll go ahead and copy this url and i'm going back to the adwords account and i'm putting across the text as placements the final url being here make sure that the http thing doesn't really get repeated so it is getting repeated since i copied straight away the url google has already given the http option so let's go ahead and delete the this one so that there's no duplication then do you want this 
text, link text also to be there on a mobile phone, on mobile searches. Yes, we do want. So let's check mark this. And then description. Now this description, sometimes it comes and sometimes it doesn't. All right. Along with the link text, you know, which is called placement, certain times description will be also provided and sometimes it will not. You must have uh, seen this, observed this. If not, then you'll, you'll get to observe this as we'll move further. I'll even show you. Let's say the description which I want to put in across about placement is, let me take some text from here. Focused and well-organized placements. All right, so let's say this is the word focused and well well organized all right so focused and well organized this is one in the description line one and the other one is all right better employment opportunities let's say is the other text or better employment opportunities. Now I can go ahead and put in across a start date, end date, and so forth, the ad scheduling, I mean the siting extension scheduling can also be done. For every single ad extension, there can be a scheduling, right? In terms of the start date, end date, and also the uh, scheduling from the day's perspective. So I've selected this and I'm clicking on to save. All right, so this is one of the siding extension guys. Similarly, there can be three more which can be created. All right, I hope this is understood. So I'm clicking on to save as of now, just because I've made you understand one of them, you can create other three. You need at least four of them to get this activated and so forth. Now, similar to this site link, there is a call out now. Call out I had shown you, this is an additional text which gives across information about your, you know, more exciting features about your product but they are not clickable. They're not clickable. So I'm clicking on to plus extension. It's a call out extension. All right. It says new account call out extension. And it gives an option of clicking on to plus new call out. Now here I can put in across one of the call out guys, just to give you an understanding. Let's say my one of the call out extension is Four extra certifications, is that what you want me? All right. I can have four extra certifications being mentioned over here. And I can have, uh, I can put in across that, I want mobile to be a preferred platform where I want all of these to be there. And I can schedule, like I said, the way I can schedule extension, the site link extension, I can schedule the call out also. I'm clicking on to save. All right, that's great. So like one is being put in across, there can be furthermore call out extension, which can be created. You need at least two to be created in order to be shown across. All right, I'm just being quick about it and then I'm clicking on to save. All right, so this is uh, ad extension number one. Cycling has been done, call out has been done. Then comes in structured snippet. Now structured snippet and call out are pretty much similar kind of thing, guys. It means that what exactly is so unique about your product, you mentioned that. Structured snippet, guys, let me show you how it looks like. So over here, you can see one of the structured snippet guys. Structured snippet 
is an option which is also uh, a text only a text very much like call out extension and uh, again this one is also not clickable the way call out extension is not clickable structured snippets are also not clickable and in call, in call out you put in across uh, you know some additional features about your product in structured snippets you mention certain elements about your product so you know google will give you options so as of now google have would have given option to ray ban over here that you can put in across i mean uh, styles so there are certain default categories one of the category which ray ban has selected is styles in call out there was no category as such there were only certain text which was being asked to put in once in the uh, in the structured snippet rather there is a category there are set of categories which are being uh, I mean, which one can really select one? One can select one of that category, and once that's been selected, all the various uh, subcategories can be punched in. Or right. again, they are not clickable, guys. I'm going on to the campaign part, and this is structured snippet. I'm clicking on to plus extension. All right, and now I'm clicking on to plus new. Structured snippet. Now here you can see it says header being English and choose. Now these are the categories which I was talking about. Now in our co in our business in this clients business it's courses which matches very well. So there are various different options like amenity brands courses degree programs so even degree programs we can select that would be much better. So degree programs I can type in over here BBA. Become FT or become general, become foreign trade, or we can type in become, uh, which is the other one, become foreign trade and become general, become computers, become advertising, become computer and this is become foreign trade all right i can add in more become advertising is there. become general and bba now it's up to google which one does it which all one will it actually show so not every time all of them would be shown across that's another thing so i've got the values in the structured snippet offered right i can put in across mobile i do want my add my the structured snippet to be shown across in mobile for sure right the preference is there on mobile first and clicking on to save so we have got some of these snippets some of the what do you say add extensions being created across guys uh, you can, uh, Chaitanya, you can go ahead and get the site link and the call out completed because I've just created one of them, you know, one uh, for one site link extension only and one call out. You can create all the other remaining ones. All right, structured snippet has been also been done. So the top three has been done, then comes in call out extension. Now, in the call out extension, I can give it across the phone number which I want to be uh, to ring across. All right, so I have to select the campaign first. This is the campaign. I'm clicking on to done. Now over here, I have to punch in across a phone number. I'm clicking on to new phone number. And this time, all right, so it's India. And the phone number is in the contact us section. Or, or do you want uh, Chaitanya or uh, some specific phone number to be provided? All right, perfect. All right, and then do I want it to be there on the mobile? Yes, I can do start date, end date, scheduling, right? 
and do i want the phone call uh, calls which have come in to be reported separately yes i'll have this check mark all right and then i'm clicking on the save now it will tell me how many calls i received specifically from this ad even i will get the details through this all right i'm clicking on to save so we have got call extension you got site link call out structure snippet and call message and message is something which is pretty much new let me also explore what exactly is this all about so your messages don't have statistics let's click on to all right i can also click on to learn more this is a very recent one i mean in the month of march 2017 only these price extension message extension three four extensions have come in all right i'm clicking on to plus extension selecting the campaign let's see what it says clicking on to done all right i can go ahead and click on to plus new message extension all right it's taking a bit of time let's look into that or it says put in across your business name phone number extension text so this text in the ad or at 35 characters and message text this text populates the messaging app and so forth all right how does it really comes in or right, there's going to be a uh, message icon there's going to be message icon in your ad from their mobile device their messaging app will open all right well i'll read more about it guys and then keep you informed i haven't used it also like so at this point of time i don't want to take much of your time to understand about it at this given point of time message extension just have a look let's have a look how it really looks like all right okay so something like this it comes across guys a button like this all right a button like this so this is another ad extension which is called message extension guys all right we we'll look into that uh, in the next session i'll i'll get get some more information about it and we'll, then we'll keep you informed so i'm skipping message extensions as of now we have done site link we have done call out we have done structured snippet we have done call then comes in location message i have skipped location extension guys helps us to put in across the address the address of our uh, you know business if somebody wants to drive down to our a uh, particular place our store our business or whatever or retail outlet whatever or maybe our college in this question in this example now in order to set up location extension guys we are not going to be just entering across the address straight away we will be asked to create across an account on google business so google business is one of uh, another product which google owns it's called google.com forward slash business guys explore this across it's a uh, pretty easy feature it helps your business to first of all uh, get placed on the google maps easily all you have to do is you have to go to google business and then submit across the details about your business like the phone number the name of your business the operational hours and the address after you have punched in those details a particular post mailer with a verification code with a uh like an otp kind of a thing will come in a post mailer and it will be uh delivered at your address at the same address which you will enter into your google business once you will receive that post mailer you will open that there will be this verification code like i said you take that verification code go back to google.com forward slash business and punch in that detail it will then your overall business will get listed on google maps all right so let's say i'm going on to add extension and the location one this time location and i'm clicking on to plus extension 
it says select a google business account all right so as of now in your google business account there is uh, zero locations all right if you have uh, another business uh, google business account which you want to be synced other than this particular gmail id you can sync that also okay now like i said it cannot appear without you uh, you know set up across something uh, you you work around google business now i'm giving this task to each one of you to please explore google business it's a pretty easy stuff and get your uh, so let's say chetanya in your case you can get across uh, put put in across the college details and uh, work around it and goresh let's say if you if you uh, don't have an option or if you have an option it's good let's say if you do not have or each one of you can go ahead and submit even your home address and you can type in let's say uh, goresh digital marketing service or chetanya's digital marketing uh center i mean these kind of name this kind of a name or whatever name if you want to so get that google business thing up and then i'll show you the location extension it will be just uh, a, a one click you know through which that will be synced it will come automatically then after location affiliate location price extension guys i have to see uh just like message extension this is also a new one which has come recently only then the other two which i would like to show you is the app extension in the review going on to app extension if you have an app a mobile app to be shown across you can go ahead go ahead and click on to plus extension and then click on to plus new app whether it's an android app or whether it's an ios app you mention that okay and then you mention the app id what is the link text put in across the url of your app and then uh, click on to save all right now the way it looks like i've already i think shown you uh, the app extension in the powerpoint presentation it was there the app extension the way it appears like is this the icon the app icon comes along with the text and the link the link to that particular app that's how it's going to appear like or it's that's how app extension the bank of america absolutely that's how the app extension looks like and then the other one other than the app extension the last one is the review extension i have told you about the review extension also the review extension helps you to put in across add in across a review which you have received from some other webs on on some website either your or some other, someone else website all right a, and an, a website which is all about you know collecting reviews and so forth so you need to click on to plus extension and then plus new review over here you will type in across the text the website from where you have copied that you know and the url also and the url also far gone all right so we just done i mean two more minutes two more minutes and then we'll be done i hope you're able to so then you're able to hear me hear my voice hear my audio all right then click on to save that's it so that's how you go ahead and get across these ad extensions up guys i would request each um, both of you to please follow these same steps which have been done all right by me right in front of you whether it's regards to working on the campaign on the adwords accounts right from the beginning creation of a campaign ad groups ads and then settings and also putting across keywords and also putting across ad extensions then we'll jump on to all the other different tabs all right we'll have more things as we'll move further so that's all for today guys we'll be wrapping up now and then we'll be meeting across saturday next saturday same time and we'll be taking it further from there any questions any doubts you have uh, before we wrap up our session for today feel free to put that across in the chat window so that i can go ahead and answer that across all right that's great koresh absolutely good stuff if you have already done simultaneously while uh, we were doing this uh what i'll i'll let you know how this is to be checked across 
So what you need to do is you have to give me across. Uh, okay, you have given me the username and password. I'll definitely check in and give you a review for sure. I'll I'll do that and I'll I'll give you I'll let you know my my pointers on that. All right. So thanks everyone for joining in. We really appreciate that and I hope it was a valuable session guys did this add value was it interesting was it helpful any feedback you want to give me before we wrap up the session was it helpful was it valuable any changes you want any suggestions you have practical is more interesting i can absolutely understand that right but theoretical has to be there as well and uh, till the time theoretical doesn't happen practical also doesn't make sense so I'll, I'll i'll always try to put put in across more practical i take your point i take your point all right thanks everyone and anything else chetanya from your side any uh, inputs any suggestions any feedback you want to give was the session helpful was it interesting was it uh, valuable any suggestions you have for me so that i can go ahead and take that suggestion and you know take things in that direction or it i think uh, for chatanya the power has gone and so forth so we'll wrap up the session and we'll meet across next saturday same time guys thanks for attention chatanya take care bye now so it is, all right it's also interesting okay okay all right thanks thanks a lot take care bye bye and have a uh, great rest of the day take care bye bye